Why is everyone saying oh me? What did I do? Why is everyone saying oh me? I'm, whatever, guys. Um, shout out to everyone who's a member. Shout out to you guys. I, I don't know how it's oh me. I the panel just ended. I didn't even get to leave my comment on the panel yet. So you know what? You guys, you guys gotta wait for me to leave my comment. What comment should I leave? What should what should I say on the panel? What should I what comment should I leave on the panel for today? But um, yeah, this this is gonna be about obviously Denver beat Minnesota last night. Um and how the, the the West at least still runs through Denver. Denver still got Denver still decide the outcome of that conference. Um little borderline unstoppable at times last night. Peyton Watson looked like Hakeem Olajuwon. Christian Brown looked like Vince Carter. Jokic, he was all right. Um, Jamal Murray looked good in that third quarter in particular. So yeah, this this episode is going to be about how Denver's a pretty good team. You know, just doing regular things. They're, they're solid. So um, what teams do you guys think can beat Denver, um, if any? How do you beat Denver? What's the game plan? How do you slow them down? Everything, all, all of that, that basically. How do you see the Western Conference playoffs going? Who can stop them is basically what we're going to be talking about. Um, Abby, there's no beef. What are you talking about? There's no beef. Um, well, I don't choose what we talk about on the panel, Alex. I I understand that. Um, disappointed with me about PG. What did I do? What did I say about PG? And did I see what Kevin Hart said about Jokic that he shouldn't win another MVP? Yeah. Hello, Gabe. Uh oh, yes, lovely super chat. Oh dub, facts. Luca clears facts. Um so yeah, just whenever you guys feel like joining the show, that'll be great. We got Nassim here. How you doing? What's up? We got Logan. Hello, Logan. Okay, Hello, Logan. guys, talk about Denver. Go talk about Denver. Say stuff. All right. Oh. So you got it. Got it. Yeah, go oh ahead. no no no! You can make it. Oh, okay. someone go ahead. Okay. Um. So the thing is about beating Denver. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like their offense is so consistent compared to other teams you really just it's, it's it's simple but not simple at the same time like that the way how golden state beat them in 22 yeah they didn't have jamal murray i get that i get that but like you just have to overwhelm them with with your offensive like scoring prowess with just shooting and all of that actually i could i could go back to when phoenix had um taken a couple games off them but basically making Jokic beat you Having the, the rest of the team just stink <laughs> and y'all will probably both have to y'all have y'all have to have like two players just go for like thirty or forty and just shut everybody else out. That's all I can think of, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. That's a that's a terrible plan. <laughs> probably hey, but it's 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 a terrible plan, but what else can you really think of doing with like what else do you be think on- of doing? I'm gonna be honest. The only thing like I could think of is having like the only like two two there's a couple matchups in like in the east like Philly I think Philly Milwaukee will give them problems but I don't think they make the finals I think they lose to Boston but you don't uh, think Philly makes the finals no nah, uh I mean oh, no nah. but what's the call but I think you have to have like players who could like put like insane pressure like y- like y- or B could put insane pressure on Jokic. Even though Jokic wouldn't be guarding him, but he could put in the same pressure. Giannis could put in the same pressure on the rim, and he will like expose the like lack of rim protection in Denver. Like they try to stop you from getting to the rim, but I don't see them really stopping Giannis consistently from getting to the rim. So in the half court, they can't stop Giannis from getting to the rim. Uh, especially if if they use the damn Giannis two man game correctly with Giannis and Shoro, I don't think they could. But can Giannis set screens? Nah. Um. True. But I think Giannis would be better at getting to the rim than anyone in the West right now. I, I'm going to be biased from what I've seen. Shea going to get to that room, but... Shea yeah, he is, to that yeah, room. he is, yeah, yeah, he is, that's true. Um, I, I know we, I know everyone's been down the Warriors, but I really... I knew you were going to say something about the Warriors. I, I know, know they have the crazy. most personnel. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I think they have the best, I think they're the best personnel to, to do. I don't think they're here. getting out the plane, bro. That too? I mean... If I, if I mean, anything can happen. They can, anything can happen. They, they might lose in the play, but they and might make the first round. They have to win two games, right? They have to win two games. It looks like we're going to have to play against them anyways if we if we make it out. So even even with that being the case, we were, we're playing Trace more, and we have Draymond. So if Draymond don't go into any shenanigans and he actually plays like he's supposed to play, I think we, we have a pretty good chance of slowing down Jokic 
And if Jamal Murray doesn't explode for what he's supposed to do, for what he does in the playoffs, because Jamal Murray has been kind of inconsistent due to injury, I think we could we can knock him off the square and beat him. I know this don't mean much, mm-hmm. but hasn't Denver beat Golden State all four times this year? 2022, Denver beat Golden State every time, and we beat them in six games. So, it, 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 it doesn't really matter. 2022 regular season matchups? How many? Well, he's saying he's still he, he, play, he, play, yeah. he played in zero of them. But, um, but Didn't he get injured against them? Yeah, and that's in the 21 season. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't think the Warriors have a chance. Same man. What? No, no, no. This is the scheme. Can the no, 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 I, 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 even, like, like, like I said, I, I, this is these are just my thoughts. I I could be completely wrong. I, it's okay if I'm wrong. I just this is my thought process. Do, like, do you think how better like like do you think how much better do you think Cat makes uh, Minnesota's half court offense? Because that was really their problem yesterday. They could not get anything going in the half court. It depends on how consistent Cat at- gets. I think he at least makes it a more consistent inside presence. You know, like, you got to have somebody who can match Jokic's inside. You got to have somebody who's matching Jokic's scoring on the inside. And Cat's probably their best attempt at that because we all know Rudy Gobert ain't doing nothing but catch a lot. I see I seen Rudy try to make a play out the short row and throw it to the 17 for <laughs> No, I, I see – um, I think this – I think once when I see him playing against the Nuggets, actually – he comes out of the pick and roll. He gets a bounce pass from um, Anthony Edwards. He tries to turn off his pivot and literally just drops the ball straight into Jokic's hands. Yeah, Rudy. Rudy. I seen. I seen him try to take a floater yesterday too. <laughs> Rudy's, just a, Rudy's, a, stuff. Rudy's a great defender, one. But when he was trying to guard Jokic on the perimeter, it was so funny. I'm not gonna lie. Like Jokic, like, there was a player like Jokic. If, if there's a team in the West who I think you know. Could, could could match the Nuggets. It, it's only one. You, it's, I'm sure they'll It's either they have so the know who it is. The, 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 the Clippers make more the sense than the Warriors, in my opinion. Look, I'm just thinking, look, if, if we're fully healthy and Kawhi is playing in the games, we can – we can't – we can't – there's no shutting down Jokic. We all know that. But – The rest of the can, team got to be we can done. just get everybody else – Contained to like, we can hold Jamal Murray to like 16 and hold Michael Porter to like 15 a game. We might be able to slide by on the Nuggets. I'm hoping, honestly, that we just like get a free pass. You cut them, and, you cut them assist down by pass. Like, you would have to, like, have to make we gotta, a we score. We got to basically make Jokic like do like 2018 LeBron and just Tell he has to carry scores. everybody's. And that's we just got to make that the only option for winning. You guys be talking about Jokic like he the second coming. Like, it's, it's he hilarious. look. It, I, I mean, no, no, no. He's definitely like beatable. He's, it's just, it's just he's very difficult to beat with that team that's around him. Like I don't think that he's Jesus. It's just that his team is built around him so well that and, it makes him look like Jesus. And very reliable shooters. He's very. Yeah, reliable Jesus shooters. is black, but I mean, other than that, I mean, yeah. I guess. Thank you, Mark. I but mean, very, very obviously scores. Very it makes him look like the Jesus from Family Guy. Mm, <laughs> How do you think Dallas matches up with Denver? I think Dallas win. Mm. What you think? They I think Dallas big, big game wins. Him. You think Gafford um take on that role? Well. I think I you know. guys are looking at it from a how do you slow down the Denver offense, which is the wrong way to look at. Uh-huh. It's, it's how do you capitalize on Denver's defense, and that's why uh, I think that's why I think. Um, that see, was yeah, so, but that's like, what I, I had said before. I was like, you're you're just gonna have to overwhelm them with your offensive prowess with whatever team. Can yeah, do but it. all this, all this, oh, let Jokic make Jokic a scorer and take make away. Jokic. A sc- that stuff doesn't on. work. That stuff doesn't happen. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, yeah, it the hard. Denver offense, the Denver offense is gonna do Denver offense things. Okay, what you have so, to do is they can't shoot the three efficiently. They already don't uh, shoot yeah. a lot. So you need them to right. shoot the three inefficiently. And then defensively, you need to take advantage of how heavy in rotation they are. That's what you have mm-hmm. to do. Because you know, okay. if Jokic is in the pick and roll, you know they're going to be rotating behind. They have Luka is the best pick and roll pass in the NBA, probably. He can take advantage and create the advantages that Denver's rotations will give up. 
Now you have to capitalize on that. You need PJ Washington to hit shots. You need Kyrie to be great attacking closeouts. You need all of those things. You need PJ to hit shots. Well, if you tell me there's, a, there's only <laughs> one team in the West, you need PJ there's only one team in the West that I think has the capability to do not two. Okay, see, I, I just saw him go for 10. I and that, know, bro. They're the only two teams I think have the possibility to counter what Denver does defensively. Mars. I, I, I just if, I just saw PJ go if, 0 for 10. Oh god. I'm yeah, but, say, but 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 um PJ I, had a, PJ had like 32 like I guess the Warriors right. No, but I swear every time I watched yeah, the Yeah, Bones man, Highland dropped 37 last night. But that if, doesn't if, mean if, if it was the 32 with the same looks and then you go from 32 from the same looks to 0 for 10. Nah, I think he was attacking the Ramallah against the Warriors because Luca didn't play. Yeah, right. I mean, you know, spot ups are gonna have inconsistent nights. That's just part. That's just part of the game. You no, but I feel like every time I watch him, he's every shot. Yeah, it's, it's like every time yeah. I see him, he's missing. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, everything, everything still needs to go right. Like Dallas, they they need Tim Hardaway knocking down shots. They need PJ Washington. <laughs> they need Dante Exum knocking down shots. They need um. Josh but so okay, them, but I I have a question. Yeah. With the last time they they lost, and so in twenty two, what was what was the reason that um made Denver lose the last time? And I get that they didn't have MPJ in um Murray game. Murray. So the reason other than that, yes, okay. Um, I can't just say um. Uh, they were playing Will Barton and Monte <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, but you, you have but the team ain't the same. The team ain't the scores. The team isn't the same. That's the difference. Like they had Braun who came in last year that helped them out. Like they kind of upgraded, and Brown actually helped out too. Like he stepped up. But the way to beat Denver is to honestly tell you the truth. Keep the ball in Jokic's hands. Cut off the backdoor passes from um. Gordon and also Michael Porter Jr. coming off of that as well because one would be a decoy and the other one was set up for the three point or the decoy would be the three point pass and then you got Gordon down low. So for me, like I've been saying all year, the best way to keep the Denver Nuggets at check is to allow the perimeter, do the perimeter defense and allow Jokic to just but attack because what you're going to do is if you shut down that three ball, that creates a better transition for you and plus they're not that good at it. And if you let Jokic eat when he's off the bench, who's going to be their facilitator? Okay, you got Murray. Now you got Murray. That's when you do the doubles and switches with him. And you keep that in containment. And you don't have to do it for an entire game. You do it in spurts of three to four minutes. And over time, you can win the game. But that's why I've been I, saying I say that for with, years. Uh, that's why I what I say with, would, with, with Jokic. Okay, what's, what's Jokic's, what's Jokic's, what's Jokic's most terrifying quality? His scoring his most, or his passing? No. No, his most – he doesn't have any – see, the thing is, is what you guys aren't understanding. He doesn't have anything that's bad except for when he misses. Like, if you really look at Jokic, he's only bad when he misses. Because I'm being real. He misses. You see how he pulls up a three-point shot? Who shoots like that? Who shoots fading away, throwing it off the glass like that? The off guy is foot. just that good to where if he's off, he's off. Off one foot. <laughs> one, one again. Off a of one foot fading wow. away like 30 feet back. Like, the way he's able to shoot – He's only off if he's off. So what you got to do it, same thing with Giannis, same thing with Embiid. You let those guys get as much offense as possible to where they wear down and they have to take the rest. Then when the rest comes, when they're off the court for three, four minutes, you That's just a bad blow strategy. it on offense and defense. And you I don't, destroy I don't, I don't, That's a bad I disagree, strategy. I disagree with No, it's not. Because... I, did, I disagree with How do you stop you know, Jokic? I think this, I think this strategy you're is not pretty valid. You're not going to. You're not, you're not going exactly. to. Exactly. So you're you're tired him the, the out by him. You know who he is. Can one person, can one, you guys are talking over each other. Come let, on. Let KB's been trying to talk for five minutes. Yeah, let KB I'm not disagreeing with you trying to make Jokic work defensively to kind of tire him out. I get that. And I think that's somewhat like it's going to work. But offensively, he's going to have an impact on the game regardless. So you're not going to stop him, period. But like, for the Nuggets, I wouldn't understand wanting to be key on their perimeter shooting when they're not really the greatest perimeter shooting team, like especially this season from like the three point line, especially. Um, Jokic to me, as like a shooter, he is a shooter, he can shoot the three, but I don't mind him taking volume threes. Aside from MPJ Jamal Murray and then KCP, the rest of the shooters on the team are like, eh. And don't they shoot. don't really, they're not really that consistent at it. So, like, I'll low key like muck up the paint make them become more shooters and have to live by the three-point line more and not have the ball like be moved around and then being a lot in like in motion a lot but it's going to be hard to do that because of Jokic obviously being the hard. But, JP, can i ask you a question real quick as well what? um what teams do you think could um make that uh weakness a lot more prevalent in the playoffs like what team could 
expose that? Um, I don't know. It's tough. Like, and funny enough, the Lakers do give up the most threes. I was gonna say that. And so, like, they can their defensive method time. can like it can low key work. They could just let them live that by that three point line and just be like, yeah, you're not getting anything down this here. This is that last year. But was, they lose every time it. they play Denver. Yeah, they just, yeah, they just, they just, they just, because Denver hit their three ball. That's what I'm talking about. The problem is that like, yeah, they're going to miss. But just one second. I think they're going to miss. But like, the problem is offensively, you have to go and make sure that you're executing. And Mar said it earlier, like, you have to catch this team while they're in rotation. Like, you, you, you have to, especially when Yoko just out in space trying to show what the level and chase and whatnot. And the ball is moving or wherever you're playing on the floor. You have to catch them in stride and rotation because that's like the best time to attack offensively. Um, but you have to just execute a lot more, which is why like I don't think a lot of teams are able to do that because Denver just has been out executing teams for like the past two seasons. So, like, and also, what? Bro, I feel like they just gotta make Jokic work, bro. Like, I feel like no team can't really capitalize on what you call it, when they get on defense. Like they don't really be making that nigga work, bro. I have to think, I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna explain why you guard the perimeter against Denver. The reason why you do that is because you are for, you're basically giving the option to Jokic to actually go to the right. For me, if you have the perimeter on the outside protected and you you can see the cuts better, you can see where the ball is going to where it's gonna force Jokic to attack the rim. That's why I said guard the perimeter because most of their cuts come off of perimeter screens and also backdoor cuts. But if you spread out and you guard the perimeter. One, like you said, they're not good at the three-point, but if you're allowing them to get those off, they can be, do some damage. Look at Michael Porter Jr. against the Knicks. Dude went off quick. It just takes the right yeah. timing or the right quarter. So yeah. for me, if you really they're think about crazy. it, you're not will... crazy at volume. Though. No one's. No, no, I'm NBA not. I'm not year. arguing with you, but you asked me how. If you want them to take a high volume on the threes in the game? I don't mind that. Like if they have to take an extreme amount. Like, yeah, because really yeah. the reason why you're guarding the perimeter is so you can see the passes that are coming from the back screen. When Jokic is at the three point line or the foul line, and the perim and their floor is open, your defense can read and see where the pass also, is going. You That's why also I said. see that if you're getting, you, you can also see that if you're playing the gaps as well. Though you don't have to be hugging them at the three point line. Like, and you can mix that I in. I wouldn't want to hug a team at yeah. the three point line, and I don't. are not consistently damaging me from three, especially at a high clip. Like, what do y'all think they're about? They're doing what? way more damage to you off ball, cutting, getting actual like quality looks inside the arc the entire time, more so than the three. So, what do y'all think um, about what Boston tried when they just try to like load up on the non Jokic minutes and keep like Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown on the floor and just try to go on the run? They just don't. Nah, because I don't think you're gonna. They don't I don't think they're. Gonna, that's not sustainable. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna be able to out pace the Nuggets in a just in a straight out just offensive brawl. There's no way. I don't think anybody can just outdo them when it comes like and also what you were saying when you were saying basically if they cover the perimeter they can see the passing lanes better and they can see, but I don't think like you're you're taking into account like Jokic is in my opinion he's like a top 5 passer I've ever seen. So he's seeing passes that these other people don't even know are there. Is is what I is what I is what I'm like interpreting that as like yes we're going to see most of the passes but Jokic is the playmaker. He averages, you know, the assists that he does, and he makes he has the offensive effect that he has because he's seeing passes that other players just simply don't see. I was gonna let somebody else go, but good point. Jokic is a pretty good. Jokic is a pretty good passer. I, I do think that's an astute observation. I how do y'all think? <laughs> how do y'all think? Y'all think Phoenix still matches up well with them? Oh no. <laughs> is it Phoenix? People are Phoenix. Yo, is that the blacker version of Shea Gillis Alexander? Who's that? What? The, the one that's underneath Shea? Mars. He looked like a darker version of Shea. Yeah. That's Shea's brother right there. You, yeah. What's up, man? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it. Hey, that's <laughs> crazy. Nigga said a blacker version of Shea. That's wild. I ain't you know he light skinned. <laughs> I, I ain't never heard of that one, Slime. I just, Shea is I just, not light skinned. No, he's not. I, it's, I'm joking. I, I'm I just joking. got on here because. I be I know Mars get fed up with me when I be messaged that nigga and he be like, "What is this nigga talking about?" <laughs> oh, that's oh, so you. Yeah. Oh you my god. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, man. Yeah. I be I be just because you know I'm recovering from surgery and shit, and so I be watching you know these little skit you know YouTube videos and then y'all be saying some shit on here and I just be like, "Oh my lord, y'all niggas letting swipe up and chill just get away with this shit." That shit. Be so you the tight. one who just messaged me about that Kobe Mars? Man, Kobe. that shit had me. Tight. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it was like, and it was crazy because it was like, like I get it. We, we, 
we want to bring knowledge, you know, to the, you know, the sport and, you know, and, and speak not you know, necessarily biased, but some certain shit they just be saying, like, when dude was like, Kobe, a better scorer, and niggas was like, oh my, I'm like, bro, I, look, I get one nigga got 40,000, but come on, bro, like, what we doing, bro, and like, I don't know, man, it's just some of the stuff they were saying, I'm like, Mars, if you don't speak up, bro, speak up. Don't just let them just... We on. need you to be the voice of logic, Mars. He bro, talk, he, and it's he crazy because I know about Mars the segment troll. where they were arguing about who's more skilled between Kobe and LeBron. And, and yeah, story. bro. And, and as a player, as a player. But um, then it came to. Um, yeah, they did us. Yeah. And then, and then <laughs> Swiper like, swipe, 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 swipe said LeBron shoot better than Kobe. Bro, bro, what? when he seen when he said that. Yo, I yeah. was in my room like, was that the day? I mean, I mean tech, technically, I, I, have oh, I have a question. I have a question. Did he bring career. up? Did he bring up LeBron's pull up shooting in any of his peak years? Did he? Yes or no? No. He just no, said, he just said he just said KB. Shoot, it like KB. Yeah, that's that's what, KB. What, what, he just said he just said LeBron shoot, but I just like, I I gave I mean, a little reaction. Three, I ain't saying nothing. Was that the day y'all was arguing the defense like the like? But then yeah, well I only spoke when Chill said that Kobe never had an argument to be the best defender, but LeBron did. That's the only time I spoke. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the defense, the claim. I mean, technically he's right. Mars made a great point when he was talking about like uh like the errors and stuff like that. I was like. And then this whole concept when they be saying like one through five, and I just be like, bro, I'm like, bro, we I watched this game since '99. Like, did y'all watch this five. shit? Or do y'all just be like, <laughs> now nah, that clip where he was like guarding Tim Duncan and then uh, and then Tony Parker, like that that's what carries that narrative, bro. The people just and saw that clip. Tony Parker, like, yeah. And then another thing that grinds my gears the most when they be like, who look who he locked down? I'm like, have y'all ever noticed it's a consistency? He locked down niggas at six three and under. You want me to give him? You want me to get this man credit for locking down D Rose when D Rose is the main scoring option? Basically, the only scoring option on a defensive team like the Bulls. Meanwhile, he got Wade Bosch. He got other talented players with him. And he don't have the same responsibilities as D. Rose. And you want me to give him credit for locking up a man that's I will say, though, LeBron's two. defensive responsibilities were not really on. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and, like, harp on. You got to give him some credit. And, 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 no, 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 listen. I'm, I'm not LeBron, say, LeBron, 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 LeBron a good player for him. He good. I'm not disregarding <laughs> that. that, that, that he, I'm not saying he don't <laughs> got defense. What I am saying is. If you if you say all right, give me 2010, 2011, Melo, or before you went to the Knicks, and you can say all right, Bron, I need you to lock this nigga up. Nope, Melo gonna bust him his eye. And I'm not saying that like, oh, it's Melo, he'll bust everybody ass. What I'm saying is, he locking little niggas down consistently or having moments of his peak de- uh, perimeter defensive. He ain't doing it against niggas that's six five and up. He ain't going. Let me harden. I know you be cooking niggas. I'm about to get on the perimeter and lock your ass up, nigga. Even though you're the MVP. No. Not for real. Who has he locked up though? Like the shit be blowing. Yeah, I thought I'm playing good defense hard one time. He's in the locked bubble. up Kawhi and shit. You guys, you did, have when you guys, Kawhi have you guys, have you guys seen, possession? have you guys seen the game in 2010 I mean, yeah, where sure. where Melo gave him points? Have you guys seen stopped. that? Game? Stopped, I like, do not remember what? that game. When when LeBron, yeah, yeah, Melo. Yeah, no, in 2010, Melo gave him. So when so when Melo went to Cleveland and they was going at it, it was like an overtime game or close to overtime game, man. Melo pull up Yaku in his face, and he gave him like 40. <laughs> oh, that was the yeah, game. That's the game. Yeah, that's the game. That's the game I'm talking about. That's the game I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, that's nah, the game I'm talking about. Melo gave him a mean 40. Like, that was, but then everybody <laughs> said that about Melo, though. Melo, <laughs> Melo, hey, and, and before the, oh, and before the LeBron fans come at me, LeBron had 42. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying... LeBron had like a 40 point triple double. I'm not saying Melo. Oh, but what I'm saying is, we're not talking about his offense. LeBron could not guard Carmelo. That's like, it's Carmelo. <laughs> that, right, bro. What, and then Nick would downplay that. that you give up for oh, it. and then they said, uh, when they, when, when, uh, oh boy, I forgot his name, he brought up the T Mac thing. Swipe said, what he played him only two times a year. I'm like, nigga, this not, we ain't talking about Orlando T Mac. Nigga, he played Houston T Mac too. Like, why? Yeah. What? So he went in the Western Conference. Them niggas ain't multiple all stars being the, the, the starting front, I mean, backcourt. Melo yeah, and Mac and, and Kobe, like what we like, it'd be certain nah, things they say, and I'd be like, more skill. And like Mac, what T Mac did to Sean Bradley's career, like y'all be forgetting. He called him. He was like, "Yo, Bradley, I'm gonna dunk this on you." T Mac still had skills in freaking Houston. I don't know why people don't understand that. Like he didn't do the 33 and 13 seconds, or not 33, exactly. but you get what I'm saying. Damn. 13 yeah, eight, wow. 33 and 13. And, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, and T-Mac no, dropped the 50 piece that. against the, Yo. he dropped the 50 piece when uh, Miller got traded. Was, when Miller like got traded seconds. and he was on Orlando, he dropped the 50 piece against the Knicks with Jamal Crawford. I think it's cool. 30 and 13 seconds, Come on, man. Bro. Oh my God. That's they be my saying, goal. They be saying it like, and then I even, I met with Mars, and I was naming all the perimeter, you know, like, other two guards in the league around that time that was actually getting buckets and shit. And I'm like, why is niggas when when niggas be like, who? I'm like, bro, how does this not pop up in your head? And I get it. 
the memories fresh in our head when it comes to LeBron and everything he's done in the past 10 years or, or 15 years is fresh in our brains. But, bro, it like I, y'all historians of the game. Y'all eat, sleep, and basketball. It ain't nothing to just be like, y'all can go on websites and watch full games. Of, it ain't nothing to go to these players and watch certain shit or even significant stuff to do mm-hmm. research on shit that was in the 2000s. And, like, nigga, if you watch this as a youngin or play ball, this shit should be imprinted in your head. Like, it's like Catino Moby and Steve Francis when they was hooping together in Houston is printed in my head. It's certain back, it's certain times and certain nah, times see, in like, my head. That's, that's I agree crazy. with you. Steve Francis with the dunk contest and how how he was able to cross. I and seen get, Steve yep. Francis live cross the fuck out of one of my favorite players, Allen Iverson, back in the day. Like yep. it's certain things where I'm like, this shit's imprinted in your dunk. Nice. He took off from the foul line. line. He took off from the foul line during the game. Remember that? You think Kobe's more skilled than LeBron? Oh uh, no, for sure. I see. So, so mom, this is how I am. I think Kobe's the most skilled of all time, and nah. if, and I really want to push it and say Kyrie's more skilled than Kobe, but I just don't. Mm. Do I just don't. Say wow. That. Why not? Why not? The reason, the reason why I don't do that because niggas gonna be like, niggas start bringing the athleticism and height into the equation and all that. And I just be like, look, from I look at it like this: Kyrie can do everything Kobe can. The nigga just shorter mm-hmm. and can dribble mm. better. But I understand mm. at some point you gotta say, nigga, it gotta be you got at some point you gotta be like, look, nigga, he's getting stopped. Kobe's not getting stopped on the same way that Kyrie's getting stopped. I'm like, nigga, that's just cause it has to do with height. Well then you can't say nobody's more skilled. And I'm like, you know what? Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Did, I'm still did, gonna say that did, my top five skilled is Kobe, Kyrie, MJ, Carmelo, and then you can I'll let y'all whatever last nigga. Whatever. Not even Braun? No, no KD res- though. Respect, respect. I, I, was, I was gonna say KD five, and but I feel yeah. like I feel like a lot of KD skills come from yeah, being taller than niggas. I can't do it. I feel like no, KD is taller than, and a lot, so he can just do certain things. But like, like, like for example, one nigga that's not talked about as really skilled, Paul George is really skilled. Thank you. That's hey, he's not cross the That's a line of version of Melo. He's always the line of version of Melo with better defense. He's really one of the line of Paul George. That, that is literally now you can take that jersey off. That's the only thing. Yeah, like, uh, like, 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 the blueprint for like, 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 watch PG and KD. KD gets his spots, he pulls up over niggas. And I'm not saying he ain't skilled, he just gets to his spots and pull, and he's just unguardable. PG, he's a little shorter, so he got people that can actually contest. And I feel like he just that no, nah, because that actually bothers me because they always be talking about KD seven foot with a handle, all of this, all of that. Paul George has an actual legit handle. Did you see what he did? You see against yeah, Cleveland? Did you, you see what he did? He people like he used to. You like, don't burst past people. Nah, yeah, like he did it. Oh, you guys are cool, but you guys are cool. He did OKC. Oh man, no, nah, PG's man nice. Really though. He, PG's nice. He's nice. He's really nice. That's why niggas. Hey, that's hey, what a young cats love that nigga. That's my favorite player, bro. Look, I was born in 03. I was born the same year LeBron was drafted. Oh, three. You made me feel old, bro. Damn, you made me feel old. I was in Iraq and Afghanistan in 2003. Damn. How old? Hey, Mars, when was you born? You know, 2020. Two, two months. Mars knows so much, and he he lets chill, and every other, and every super LeBron fan get on here, and I'm like, Mars is definitely young, and there's no excuse. So I don't even hold it. I'd be like, nah, bro, there's no excuse if he was born in. Because I was born in 94, so I'm a little old. Damn. See, that's yeah, that's why. 90, I'm cool. You ain't old, old, man. Don't I was born in 83. What are you talking about? 83? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hey, man, I'm like, hey, I'm like, hey, I was born in 83. 1983. You 20 years old. He's an OG, bro. I'm an OG that's on here, and I like Mars because Mars, actually, the way he talks, I can understand that. Oh, my God. no diddy, please. I'm pretty sure you were there when Bernard did No diddy, no diddy. Hey, no, you know what, though? Mars, Mars, you be keeping This man seen Alex English game, but. But that's the thing, though. Chill. How old is Chill? Chill, like, in his 50s, right? He was there for the long game. He was there for the long game. Yeah, Chill seen the. Like, 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 Start of the NBA, so bro, bro. Who <laughs> but that's what make it crazy because the stuff you be saying about Brown, I just be like, and I be like, oh my lord, this is crazy. But you gotta like, understand I, though. You gotta understand, chill though. Chill's different mentality because he saw all the players. Like he saw Jordan in college. Like I didn't even see Jordan in college. All his knowledge is. He's seen so many players that he can't just keen on to one player. But yeah. the way he is about LeBron, I do agree what? with you. I think he does an extra sauce on LeBron. Nah, no, he, he's, he's very knowledgeable, man. Too older than my grandparents, man. I don't know. That's what I'm like, bro. That's oh, that wild to me. <laughs> 
that he said he saw Jordan in college because I, I never got to see Jordan. <laughs> Me neither. I didn't see him until he got in the league. I, like, let's be real. I saw him in 1989 was like the first time I can remember seeing Jordan. And then, the and then argument, of course, him beating my Knicks. And then the but, argument that confuses me, no matter like, how much I, you want to air attacks, jo mm -hmm. Jordan, I look at it like this. If any, look, and I play ball. Any, I don't give a name, D3, D2, D1. If you, if you, for example, if you score 100 points, that's impressive. If a nigga right. three beats twice, nigga, we can't even, we ain't even see one. Nigga, the Warriors didn't even three beat once. Nigga, God forbid, health, all that. I don't care how it's special. Neither did the Magic or the Lakers. If you three beat I mean, twice, uh, that Boston. is the, one of the most yeah, impressive yeah. feats ever where I'm no, like, yeah, a lot of arguments is going to be like, the nigga did three P twice, man. Yeah, you go, 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 in this in Hold in on. the nineties and in the sixties, there was two thousand. You can't do that. You can't do that. Was, no, no, no. Yeah, it's right? it's Hold only on. eight teams. It's two rounds. The first round is the, best of three. The second round is the best of three. You don't want to air talk though. You can't do that if you said air talk. You don't want to air talk. You don't want to air talk. You don't know. I can air attack the sixties, nigga. It's only eight teams. Now you just hate him. Now you just hate him. Hold on. So let me ask you: What would you rather have? Eleven rings or six and zero? That nigga's six, 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 oh, six and oh. Six and oh in the night. Okay, now you see the difference. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. I won eight straight. Eight straight. Put some context to it, bro. No, Mars. The Mars. 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 You got the dream team on your team. Mars, and you eight in a row. Eight, 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 eight in a row. You don't even know half of Bill Russell's bro. teammates. Don't talk about nah, dream team. You don't even know. Them niggas had a all, they, they all made the all-star teams consistently on the shelf. Name me six of Bill Russell's teammates. Name Exactly. Koji? All right. Was it Parrish on the team? Look at that. You are the... I started watching basketball in 2014. You a Clippers fan? Mavs and Six go on mute. So like I was saying, if I was rude. Wow. Hey, that was crazy. Yo, man. Me personally, personally, I would never take that level of disrespect. No, for real. I'm never taking that disrespect. Every time. Hey, bro, you got a bonnet on. You go on mute too, nigga. Me personally, me personally, I could not. First, yeah. first of all, first yeah, the nigga with the bonnet, go on mute, and you got a nose ring. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, oh, so, oh my god, I let you cook. With, first of I'll let, all, bro, I let you cook with. I let you cook with nigga, the bonnet because you, nigga, you think you Dennis Rodman, nigga? Cause nigga, I got locks. I got locks on, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Nose ring, nigga. You can wear a nose ring. Let him get his tank off. Wait, 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 wait. Let him get his tank off. No, no, no. What's going on? Say what you got to say, though. Don't talk about it. Yo, not too much. Yo, not too much. Nah, I kind of like this. Yo, not too much. 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 Yo, Y'all try to discredit Bill Russell and what he did. You niggas just right. sat up here and said, I would rather take six rings over 11 rings. So we never want to hear y'all talk about how y'all value winning every game. Can I, game. Can you I speak? Just said, yes, sir. Hold on. Give me just a second. I'm, I I'm going to land right I, here. I said fashion. Hold on. Listen, listen. So you try to sit here and hype up a, 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 a you know, two, three piece. I just told you that somebody eight peed it. Then you say, you know, we hear y'all in other arguments use the winning matters, but then in this context, now the winning doesn't matter because eleven is more than six. So what? Which is it? And then y'all try to, y'all try to, hold on, y'all try to knock Bill Russell for what he did, when he did it, where he did it, but then you can't even tell us who he did it with. So hold on, hold on, then, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna hold on, no, no, I'm gonna no, no, you, you done talking, you done talking, you done talking, we done talking, cause you going to say you done talking, no, 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 let me get this one, let me get this one, cause he came from this one, let me get this one, I'm gonna make my last point, I'm gonna make my last point, right, so then, if we, even if we comparing, we had one player that couldn't win without a specific coach, and then we had another player who won as the coach, while playing, so stop disrespecting Bill Russell because you niggas are too young. No, nah, that was no, nah, that was a bad. That was that was no, 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 no. Let me get it first. Let me get it first. I was going to lie. Let me get it first. Let me get it first. Let me get it Let me get it first. 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 Let me get it first.
winning quote unquote matters. I'm taking Michael Jordan six over Bill Russell's eight straight for one reason and one reason only, and that's wow. context. How many of those te- how many of those teams had a player on Bill Russell's caliber? How many? Nigga. Forget his caliber. That nigga had a three. Matter of fact, explain what that means. Explain what that means. Yo, let him cook. Let him land. land. Yo, let him land. I need him to explain what that means. Let him land. How many of those teams had a seven foot, a seven foot black man? Oh, Bill Russell was six ten. Bro, he was. Oh my god, bro. You know what I mean, bro. I don't know what you mean because Bill Russell. Hey, bro, you ain't gonna make a good point though. I ain't gonna hold you. You're not gonna make a good point. Can I jump in? I'm wow. trying to go on an air pack that nigga because he's best for three and then a best for seven. That's only two you rounds. Rock, you don't get on, you don't get cakes for two rounds. At least you're gonna at least you can say it's oh well the first round was only a best to four of your uh, Jordan. At least you can do that as a comeback. But I'm sorry. Another nigga did only two rounds ain't enough for me. I need so you to have four. Why can I? Who? Can I? Oh my god. Undertaker. Undertaker is crazy. But not for me, the reason why I said the three over his eight has nothing to do with who was the better twenty. <laughs> Bro, I gotta let it get it off. Hold on, let him. Go, go, go. I'm sorry, yo. Come on, nah, it's cool. I'll wait. I'll wait. No, I'm listening. You still love Marcus? Okay. <laughs> okay. So for me, for me, since I came in and was watching basketball. The top teams were Boston and the Lakers. So when the Jordan ever happened and he actually was having difficulties those first six or seven years, the fact that him with Pippen, whatever you want to say, overcame and won in a time and ever of where the 90s basketball was at its peak. So for me, there was way more competition at that time, and he was setting an example by three-peating against the two top teams in Boston and the Lakers. And then when he finally got over that hump, not only did he do it in a way to where – Everyone can respect it. Jordan never had a game seven finals. He's been balling. Every time he went out, he went out playing hard. Yes, his team helped him. But in an era of full of competition, when you had Hakeem Olajuwon, when you had the Spurs, you had freaking Ewing, you had all these top bigs and all these, even Shaq. Like you had all these top guys in the era when Jordan was doing his best. So for me, to win three in the era where it's at its peak is way harder than for you to win eight when it's just coming up into his own. I'm not saying Bill Russell's rings ain't worthy. He is the godfather. But to me, I admire someone who can win. Hey, for example, question, you three you peak now. Hold on, hold on. You three peak now. If the Denver Nuggets three peak right now, they would reset the trend of what the Chicago Bulls done because they were the next team to come in and correct it. That's all I was saying. Hey, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. In 2013. Yeah. (laughs) No, no, no. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Let me me ask you a question. So you're saying, right, because, you know, one person just made the point of Bill Russell's Hall of Fame teammates, right? So can you tell us about Bill – no, tell us about Michael Jordan's teammates. No, you're right. Like I said, he had had, had a lot of good teammates. Hold on. Was he the top five in his position in the 90s? Yes. Yes. Jordan was Jordan. The way Jordan was playing, he was top five in almost every category except for maybe defense because his defense started dying off and he didn't have to do that much assignment. What? But he still was. Hey, yo, man, hold on. Uh, listen, man, y'all lucky I got You're not even letting me finish. When he was in the 90s, his defense you got to went let down. Me land. Go ahead, brother. Wow. I was trying to say his defense <laughs> wasn't needed as much because he had Pippen and his offense was still there. So if you look at Jordan, when he won Defensive Player of the Year and MVP, that person was not the same person in the 90s. But the way he's able to play, yes, he had very good teammates. But for you to have those teammates and still be successful on the 3 P, I I think it was more to me. My personal so, preference so, was so that. Do you hey, value, if I, if do I, you I, value when winning we get done, or not? Can I give you videos of showing uh, uh, Jordan defense even in the 90s when he started winning the championships? Like out after the I never said he didn't have hold defense. On, on, I don't want to get copyrighted. Hold on, listen, copyright. listen, because when we have discussions about Michael Jordan versus other players, we're told that – Winning is all that matters. So now we're hearing y'all deviate from that. Nobody says that. No, now, no. now who, who says, says that, bro? You now, hold on. Listen. Now, listen. Now, That's the original point about winning. I'm stuff. confused, bro. Don't do that. 11. People. Hold on. And what sense does it make to say I'm going to take six over 11? Bro, you're doing your narrative. Uh, you're putting words in people's mouths. No, it's people not a narrative. Winning is just... the only thing matters. No, we're putting. So what matters? That, guess what? Because guess what? 
when you say that's what casuals matter, say, when you, bro. Wait, 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 listen, listen. When you say winning only thing matters, niggas always hit you with Robert Ori or a bunch of other niggas that want a bunch of the rings. When you say winning only thing matters, when you defending Jordan or using Jordan as a thing, you also understand that comes with the context of nigga. I got six Finals MVPs. I got a Defensive Player of the Year. I got yeah. Finals MVPs didn't exist when Bill Russell was winning. It didn't exist to 1969, sir. It ain't just it ain't just six rings. It's hella it's hella content. Finals MVPs did not exist until 1969. That was actually the that last year to Bill Russell. You can, okay, so you can't. So we can't do the Finals MVP you, thing. No, the award is the, the, the award is named after him. Accolades. After him. Bro. The the, the yeah. award is named after Bill Russell. Yeah, of course, of course. Even if I exclude Finals MVPs, right, but it didn't exist. You were trying to match it up to just championships only to make it fair for Bill Russell, nigga. I can add more freaking other accolades in this thing. Go to his okay. Wikipedia. It's way more stuff than Jordan has. So you're adding the Wikipedia. But a lot of the, but a lot, a lot, a lot, wow. of, the, a lot hey, of the stuff, a lot of the stuff. Let's go to Wikipedia, bro. A lot of the <laughs> stuff that Jordan, a lot of the stuff that Jordan has just didn't exist when Bill Russell played. Mm-hmm. So and that's so what I'm saying. The development and the talent, the talent in the nineties. The, the final, the finals MVP and the all defensive teams didn't exist. Exactly. And that's so you, you can have your, you can have your um, scoring titles and yeah. whatever. But yeah, they, both, they, they, both, they both they both made eleven All NBA teams. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Bill Russell has five more championships. They mm -hmm. both have five more MV. They both have five MVPs. We know Bill Russell would have made more All Defensive teams, but it didn't mm -hmm. exist. So the right. stuff that Michael Jordan has that Bill Russell doesn't are scoring titles, steals He's titles. But we know Bill Russell would have led the league in blocks many times, but yeah. it didn't, right. can, they didn't track it. Can I say, scoring, uh, can I, can I say and, scoring, uh, is more valuable than than, than defense? Can I, Go ahead. I don't. You can. You can make whatever argument you want for Michael Jordan over Bill Russell. I'm just letting you know the accolades. The reason Bill Russell's accolades don't stack up is not the right because they didn't exist. Argument. Blocks and steals weren't the track. Route is not so the you could. Though. So even though when people actually have like people who have eye test the track, eye test and track the games that they can find of Bill Russell, averaging more steals than MJ ever did, more blocks than MJ ever did, it just didn't exist. So you can't. You don't actually have it. So that doesn't exist. So he doesn't have steals titles for that reason. He doesn't have block titles for that reason. All defensive teams didn't exist, so he doesn't have any of them for that reason, even though most people call him the best defender of all time. And finals MVP didn't exist, even though the award is named after him, and he has more rings than Michael Jordan did. So uh, a lot of the accolades are just, they exist, and they didn't exist when Bill Russell played. The ones, yeah, that didn't I, exist, the ones that did exist, Bill Russell has the same amount, if not more. Rings, more. All NBA teams, same amount. MVPs, same amount. MJ has a couple more All Star selections because he played a couple more years. That's it. But then, like yeah, I said, yeah, you know, can I, well, I, can, you know, can I, um, can I respond real quick? I just, I just speak all, I speak all show. I speak all show. Two round playoff. Wait, is that eight thirty? That is. Oh yeah, what's up, KB? What's up, KB? What's up, thirty? And it's another. I'm saying, like, you know, you know what? You see, you see what happens when you got manners. Like, niggas don't know how to control themselves. They, they say these hypothetical takes. These hypocritical <laughs> takes is hilarious to me. Like, like talking about in one hand, on one hand, like that, bro. Like, yeah, like I'm like on one hand, like yeah, we gotta we gotta punish Bill Russell for something he can't control, like playing the amount of rounds of the playoffs. But we can't fault Jordan for winning majority a good so portion of the championship. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 can I finish? Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, bro, bro. Yeah, when you talk, finish, like, I was on mute, brother. I just I just want to finish my take. So, like I said, on one hand, Bill Russell's um for some reason is lowered because there's less rounds in the playoffs or, or quote unquote less teams, right? But at the same time, we understand when Jordan won a good portion of his championships, the league was expanded, which literally diluted the talent in the league. There's this weird notion that paying against lesser teams at their time means the talent is lesser, or does that mean the talent is more concentrated? That that could be a thought. But but I don't but, but, but most important but most importantly, but most importantly, Cowboy in particular, right? You're showing your, your bias towards your era of the nineties, because when we had open gym on we're done with the nineties segment. Uh -oh. You were completely defended, and you was against the whole notion of punishing. You were against the whole notion of taxing errors, and un, and you and we actually came to a common understanding that each error has its strength and weaknesses. But we can't hold those um those conditions of the error to the individual player because they can't control when they're born. That so that's the thing. Like that. like that, that's the thing. Like there's multiple things that's like. That's hypocritical comes as Bill Russell versus Jordan argument. On one hand, we can't do uh, team success, even though Bill Russell never lost in any game no. seven. In any I game seven, never no, lost. And then on top of that, and then on top of that, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, cowboy. When you were talking, I was muted. Go ahead, go ahead. Let somebody oh, talk. wow. <laughs> talking so, me, me personally. <laughs> when Bill Russell was 10-0 in game sevens, never lost a game seven ever. And on top of that, 
keep keep people keep hopping on this three p one. They keep missing all the time. How's two three p trump an eight p? And then impact on the game, bro. Bill Russell's impact on the game transcends the game of basketball. So who's your goal? Transcends the you game of basketball. Right? You talking a lot? Okay. I'm, I'm gonna land it. I'm gonna land it for the patient. For the impatient emotional ones on the panel, I'm gonna land it right here. If you gonna at least make an argument, if you gonna at least make an argument for Jordan, don't be hypocritical or or condescending with your reasonings for having Jordan greater than Bill. Have have a consistent thought process. Okay, That's and it. this was and this was my thought process. Like I said, in the '90s, the game had. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were done. No, I, was no, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. So what I was simply saying about the 90s, for me, the quality of how all teams were, you all right. But for me, the way it was at its peak to win three at that time, to me, because you had Jordan, you had all these other guys, Hakeem, Tim Duncan, you had all these guys that were playing. Now, I mean, later on. Like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean what? Tim Duncan. I'm about to say Tim Duncan came no, in. No, no, my fault. That was a mistake. Nah, David Robinson. Nice. You had David Robinson. You had David Robinson. You had, you had Joe Dumars. I had tons exactly. of people that I said about the 90s that were good. But my thing to me, because it was such a higher quality at that time, as far as players throughout the league, and for Jordan to win three back-to-back, -back, and everyone knew how to strategize against Jordan, and they couldn't stop him. So for me, watching that, I say I prefer his three because Cowboys, it was harder at that time the than the eight. The eight Cowboys. is a better accomplishment, but for me, because what I actually saw with Jordan going through, that's why I prefer the Cowboys. three. Nothing who else had the over. Best team of the 90s? Was it Michael Jordan? Yes. Who had, the be who, who had the best team of the 60s? Oh my God. That's what I'm saying. Personal preference. I'm not arguing who's better. I'm saying for me, Jordan, because of what he did in the era where it was more competition, I value it. I'm not saying he's better. I'm saying I value that just as much I as the am. eight because I'm saying he's better. <laughs> okay. Y'all could go ahead. <laughs> Anyways, look, man, I just look at it like this. You may say, hey, don't do don't air attacks. Damn, you can't go down this lane? Oh, that's crazy. You you might be saying, hey, don't air attack uh, you know, oh boy, if they play, you know, number six, you know, the godfather himself. I feel that at the same time. I'm going to air attack that nigga, and I'm going to do it sh shame shamelessly. You know, no disrespect to him. He just, hey, I'm just going to do that. I think Jordan the go, because when I realized it and I played the game, niggas didn't three-peat it twice. I just see that shit is very impressive. Especially, oh, another thing, niggas be like, oh, well, look when he was going against the Pistons. I'm like, my nigga, he beat the Pistons. He, he lost to the Pistons in 1990, right, when they repeated. He lost to the Pistons in the same game. When, How many when times Pippen did they beat him? Was, wait, 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 wait. When Pippen was messed up, right? And he, and he, and he lost in seven. The next year he sweeps those niggas, and Isaiah and uh, Joe is 28 and 29 in the peak of their prime. It ain't, and I get it, they had mileage on them because they had, you know, went to like, went to like three straight. Breathing so loud in my ear right Whatever, this and that. Never the, nevertheless, <laughs> you're 28 or 29 years old, and you get swept by another nigga. Like, it just, it just shows me. How many times did they do. beat him before he finally swept them? He said, no, three. Not, no, 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 let me, by on, on, beat him three me. times. Yo, Mars, I think I said what Let me cut shit off, Go ahead, oh, yeah. brother. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. What's, I don't know. I, don't, um, I forgot the main point of this argument. I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't even. I don't know. We were talking about. We were talking about the most skilled players, and then and we're going to. We got. We got to build Russell right now. Michael Jordan accomplished more than Michael Jordan. Okay, let's go. 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 Even as a fucking kid to see Jordan. 83. You need to, you I was need born to, in 83. I need to start checking birth certificates before I let people out there. I was born in 83. I'm waiting for those. I watched basketball for 30 years. Are we, are we, are we, are we, are we, you ain't watched watch basketball for 30 years. Yes, I did. If you were born before 2000s, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You might be too old. Yo, yeah. You said before 2000. I'm dead. I'm saying, if niggas, hold on. Bro, he said he's born in the 2000s. Like y'all niggas ain't see how Jordan play for real to be dick riding the way y'all do. But then you don't even know how I do. You can say the same thing about Bill Russell. That's all I'm saying. Who's your favorite player, bro? Who's your favorite player all time, or who's your goat? 
My goat is LeBron. Like, come on, bro. Bingo! Nah. It's, it's so Damn, he it's said so it like it's not even a call for, like. You niggas are so odd. I know, hold on. Y'all do this shit with Jordan, bro. And it's like, and you know what's crazy? Yeah. Jordan's not even my favorite player or my goat. Hold on, and so hold on. So, hold on. so we do the same thing. I'd heard Jordan's like your favorite player. You were born in Did he say top? I would hate Jordan. Thank you. Thank you understand. Like, for me, Jordan is him. For y'all, no, there's LeBron. a difference between goat and favorite player. I don't care. Anyone right. can have anyone as their goat. Listen, if your favorite yeah. player is someone player? you ain't see, that's yeah. Weird. My favorite player is Jalen. Oh, your favorite Ramon player is Steve. My favorite player is. They disrespect Jordan. It's who? Crazy. My favorite player is Jordan. Fuck it. Sir. My favorite player, Jordan, 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 player KD, man. man. Your mic went crazy. Fuck. These niggas disrespecting Jordan every time. Hold on, hold on. My favorite player is Jordan. Let's point it out. Cause you get mad because you, you get mad. Yo, let Low talk real quick. Let Low talk real quick. Low doesn't want to talk. talk. But y'all just disrespect the Bill Russell's era. But then y'all get mad when LeBron James fans disrespect. No, I'm not mad. I, I, yo, listen. So I don't, I don't reach, disrespect. I don't reach, disrespect. Reach, I don't disrespect. I don't disrespect Bill Russell's era, bro. I just don't speak about it. I I barely watch it, so I'm not gonna speak about it. Hold on, listen. Last thing I'm gonna say, you ain't saying shit, brother. Last thing I'm gonna say, y'all disrespect y'all for yelling. Let me go. Hold on, bro. Yeah, bro. I've been talking for most of the segment, bro. I don't want to talk about this. No Yo, I literally, I like... let's, 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 please say something prolific, <laughs> brother. Chat. We do not watch that segregation hoops. We don't care. About <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God, we don't care. No, no. We, we don't care about <laughs> Malcolm X extensions. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care about emasculation, emas 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 population, isolations. <laughs> we don't care about none of that shit, bro. We don't care about an era of basketball where there was a bunch of players who were a bunch of teams that were almost unwilling to draft black players. We don't care, bro. I'm sorry, we just they don't. just drafted the best players available. Let's not do that. Right, yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. The, the Celtics the did that. No, no, just the, Celtics did. Yeah, the Celtics did that. The Celtics did that. Nah, Only in the NBA do we disrespect legends in in, in the, the history. No, of the I, well, what, exactly. I, what I what I what I what I just told you what well, every everything I just told you was a fact. Everything I just told you was a fact. This is there, crazy. Every, every everything I just told you was a fact. Everything I just told you was a fact. There were there were, there were literally there were literally unwritten rules. It's been it's been documented at that time. Unwritten rules that most teams are only a, were willing to draft one bat black player on their team. Mm -hmm. So that, 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 that so, ain't that ain't that ain't that ain't my opinion. A lot of them was in the ain't ADA, my but opinion. That's the fact. Look at the hold on, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Hold on, hold on. Low, 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 low. So low. It's, it's fair to say black college players. Texas A&M. Below is. Or Texas. Below is fair. It's fair to say they were the first ones to draft black players, and then Kentucky followed in. That's when it actually started to get okay to start drafting in black players. Glory Road is a perfect example of what Low is talking about. You could even see in college they weren't drafting black players at that time, and I think that was the '70s. So now you so, think it's yeah. a So, so hold on, hold on, Brandon, hold on, Brandon, real quick, real quick. So it's fair to say we don't with we don't with BC. Hold on, we don't hold on, we don't with DCRs. We don't with not being able to watch only two games the entire week during the basketball season. We don't with an error that had literally has the most twenty win um teams in NBA history in a decade. We're done with an era where literally, literally during a time when you added more teams, you diluted the talent and make intentionally make teams worse. Mm -hmm. If we don't ever be done yes, with I'm, something I'm, I'm, that started what did, it is now. Did you miss the whole we done with the nights? Nice? We, 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 we done with all that. We, we done with all that. We done with all that. I say this was just a month ago. Did you just hear what I just said? You want a VCR? Like you still have a VCR? I've already, I've already said several times. Hey, if it's not Hakeem or Jordan, I don't care about a single person in the '90s. Yeah, that that era, that era also doesn't. Oh, respect, 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 check. No, not gonna, not gonna respect Shaq, who's openly admitted he didn't take ball serious. Not gonna respect Joe Dumars, who's six three, can't really defend. Respect David Robinson. What? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not respecting that playoff dropper, David Robinson. Hold on, hold on. Yo, Dumas won a finals MVP. Wait, he was one of the top three point shooters. Anyone can win a finals MVP if you're going against bombs. I don't know. Exactly. Oh my God. God. Yeah. Nigga won a finals MVP against Clyde Wait, with no left. Like <laughs> 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 I don't care. I don't care nothing about them finals MVPs. Nigga said, respect. Nah, it's not true. I don't know what to tell you. These are all facts. Somebody said, somebody, somebody said in the chat, respect Carl Malone. Not gonna do it, bro. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't yeah, care. Nothing about them finals. What about David Robinson? Okay, yeah, what about David Robinson? We're not, we're not respect. We're not respecting playoff dropper Robinson, bro. 
Yo, what? Derry yo, West, yo, low, bro. You know what, low? You know what, low? I already got Wimby ahead of David Robinson. You about that? I would like to have a conversation with you about that. Oh hell no! I ain't gonna lie, though, but yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not respecting segregation hoops. That I'm not respecting. Shout out to the Pistons for making sure Carl don't get away. We're not respecting the nineties. Okay, cool. I can, I can live with that. Fuck it. No, no, I said segregation hoops. You're cool with that. That's why I hate you niggas, because now it's about Bill Russell, but now it's because I'm a LeBron fan. It's not the same point. Well, I want to be clear. There, there, there being there being rules, there been like like teams believing that they were not going to draft and select certain players that they knew were more talented than others just because of the color of their skin is drastically different from them adding expansion teams. That's a two drastic. Oh, below, below. So but when I, I said like, that, I look crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me because... say something. Let me say something. Go ahead, go ahead. Because he just brought up expansion teams, right? Is this nigga driving? We can pick hoes and LeBron shit. Hold on, let me say something. Let me go. This nigga wants to ask you. This nigga wants to go. This nigga wants to go. With one arm. But listen, no, he said, oh, you diluting the talent with expansion teams. Nigga, why nobody never attacks the hoes in the, the weak ass Eastern Conference that this nigga LeBron was playing in? Even not even before the before the super team. Why don't you never attack like all this let's other talk shit? Talk about it, man. Let, yeah, let's so talk about let's talk oh. about the Eastern Conference. I'm I'm here for it. That's it. Oh, I'm that's like, king you know what's crazy? Like, no, like, real, real, real soon we're about to be done with the 2000s. Real soon. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did we see Jordan? I'm already done with like the first four years of the 2000s. We seen we seen Jordan make the 17. 38 and early 2000, early 2000, objectively speaking, the Eastern, the East, objectively speaking, the Eastern Conference that LeBron played in was worse than any other conference. Object that's a fact. Yo, the ever. years that the New Jersey Nets made the yeah, I don't that, that early, 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 but it's one of it's one of the worst. But see, hold on, but then that goes back. That, that goes back to again, we're penalizing players for being drafted when and where they were drafted. Why don't you just penalizing? That's fine. Oh yeah, my that's, that's, God. It is what it is. Look at that. We done. We done. We done. And somebody, done somebody in the, the chat, somebody, somebody, somebody said, somebody in the chat said, I'm, I'm exactly. criticizing athletes. No, I'm criticizing milkmen. They were milkmen, <laughs> <and> firemen <laughs> in the '60s and the '50s and '60s, bro. We don't count that. Man of the year that's in the '90s. When, since, since when do we criticize people did, for did, having did, multiple jobs? I'm just saying though, didn't the man who won the year in the night get your money, bro? I don't know. Why do you keep saying it's crazy? It's it's it's. I don't know why you say. I don't know why you saying it's crazy when it's it's a known fact that they were literally literally had other jobs. I don't understand why you keep saying it's crazy. Like that's just these are all facts. Okay, so low, so low. Let me ask you a question, low. So they're not players. They're substitute teachers, my niggas. But low, 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 low. This era got podcasters. Like what's wrong with being a multitasker? Over Russell Gordon, Gordon Hayward is a fucking streamer, my nigga. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, like, what's wrong with multitasking, bro? They got it. I saw his Twitch. So, what hey, about with Draymond so low, Green is a podcast? Let me ask you a quick, low. Nigga, yeah. LeBron is a podcast. So you prefer Jordan's, you prefer Jordan's three-peat over the eight straight? Yes, without a doubt. Come on now. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah. He was beating. He was, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was beating legit black players. Bill Russell, he had that's basically crazy. all the good ones. But when Damn, I Will said that, black, when I said yeah. that, y'all looked at me like I was. That's what I was doing. Well, well, not, well, wait, well wait, not black. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, I knew Will was white. No, no. Will was like the only one of the only other ones, but he was selfish. So that doesn't. But when you look at y'all, when I said that, y'all looked at me like I Now, 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 being selfish, you're not black. Oh damn, that's crazy. No, hold on. When I said that, y'all, y'all looked at me like I was crazy. Nigga, just win, because when you look at those eleven rings, you're not looking at. Well, I beat a cracker. I beat a white person to win this. Whoa! Whoa! We do not support the ideas of that character. God damn! I apologize for not banned us. Hold on, let me get my J. Cole on real quick. I apologize. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I apologize. But listen, one ring, we're not looking at rings and saying, well, I beat this person to get this one, and I beat this color of a person. Or, like, what? 11 I over, am. 11 over 6. <laughs> 11 Wait, over didn't, six. Didn't, didn't, Jordan, didn't Jordan beat John, John Spoppy and John Havlicek? Like, uh, other white but they were better white men than John the dudes Havlicek, back then. John Havlicek was nowhere what? near, like, one of the better white <laughs> men. Not Havlicek, not Havlicek. Hey, Jeff, that my fault. No, not Havlicek. I'm thinking of Bill Russell. Yo, I think Jeff Horn is a good You guys conflate. See how you conflate the players of different, completely different areas of decades? It's still like, it's still like you believe all white people look the same. <laughs> hey, you said that. I, I say nothing like that. I look, bro, like bro, that. Again, I, I'm seriously like, bro, in the 60s, bro, they like, come on, bro. 
They were literally there were teams that were literally refusing to draft talent because of the color. But low, low, you it was up to yeah, that was up to I think sixty. I just want to know can the other people name the competition that they said was weak? Can y'all name players? I think, I think, I think teams, teams should be allowed to draft. That's why we're which, which, we, we can't which, name which teams? Which no, no, low, low, low. I know you can, but I'm talking no. About which, I'm asking which teams though. You talking about the teams that Bill Russell was winning against? Can we name the players? It was more. It was majority the um the Lakers. They beat the Lakers. Lakers. Is Lakers Warriors. In, in one time the Hawks. Whatever so, team Wilt was on for real, that's what it was. It was whatever. To be honest with you, to be honest with you, nah, bro. He, when teams. he whooping, that's Elgin how the Bay. rivalry started between Boston and the Lakers. That's pretty much how it was. Started. And that Lakers team like that. has fire talent, even for that. Area. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Just saying, if you're gonna critique the, like the competition, like you gotta at least know the competition that was in the league at that time. And if you can't, then I can't. I can't. You know, I can't respect it. There really wasn't. Seven, no seven, seven, there really were no seven. It was like four top two. There were certain players that couldn't even get into the um thing, and they decided to play in the ABA. No, ABA, ABA, and um and the uh, um Anglo Trotters as well. Anglo yeah, yeah. So, they became, yeah. Oh shit! And, Love and, was, and, was, and, and, and basketball. The yeah, yeah, what was the Globe Trotter before? They, they what was Globe Trotter? Uh, yeah. which, 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 which Chamberlain spent years at playing the Glo- with the Globe Trotters. Yep. Mm-hmm. Doctor J. Doctor J played in the ABA. Y'all go off playing the Globe Trotters. So again, bro, that's, that's shit. That's shit. That shit. We're, not, we're not again segregation hoops. Don't care, bro. All I'm hearing is you guys hating on the girls. That shit out of here. Pretty much. Nah, we ain't hating no, on you that, you that great people gonna hate. It's cool. I understand. He's the guy, hey, man. Nah, I, I get it. Black, I, I get it. Black representation is that for that shoes. I get it. Yo, right, Nike. But you, but, you, but you know, you know. To be so honest with you guys, the thing is, to be real with you guys. The bias that we have for him is because he's the first to do it. Let's be real. Nobody has ever first to do what? get 13 first to get all those rings. Nobody's gonna get to that again. And yeah, the fact that he was black and he did it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You always hate the first person to do it. I'm talking about Bill Russell. Russell. I'm talking about Bill Russell. Talking about Bill Russell. He's talking about Bill Russell. You said he was the first. You said he was the first to do it. He's talking about Bill the Russell. The first Bill. 11 win championship as a black man. Yes. Yes, he was the first to do it, and that's what I'm saying. There's Please not been another one LeBron close to it outside of LeBron James being there 10 times. But even still, you see how hard it is to get that. So for us, that's a high standard that no one's going to get to. The closest would be Jordan because of the impact he did. And then you could look at Kobe and LeBron. What? That's what I'm trying to say. So he's already – he's so high up that no one looks at him because he set the bar. Once you set the bar, no one cares for you. Like, ah, yeah, everyone's, you know, everyone's battling for number two. I agree. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So for – Cause it's easier to catch number two than so it is Cowboy, to catch number so one. So Cowboy also thinks Bill is the goat. Okay. Bill Russell. I think, I, yo, you want thirteen championships, bro? Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Eleven, 11, 11 and thirteen. 11, my fault, my fault, my fault. Would have been twelve if he didn't get hurt. But yeah, you know. Uh, I, I just want to know when did Jordan pass Kareem? Don't keep those things. Never mind. When did Jordan pass Kareem? Jordan, Jordan, Jordan passed Kareem in his second, his second, his second championship. I'm not gonna lie. There's not, a, there's not a year. There's not a year in Jordan's <laughs> career where he wasn't a better player than Kareem. Yeah, he passed Kareem. Yeah, Kareem made the MVP when the nigga was uh, the nigga. Bro, we just, bro, we just, we just. Bro, I don't count any. He's definitely about to hit the seventies, dog. Like, like it's over. I'm about to say that the seven, the seventies, the seventies is actually the worst. The seventies is actually the worst. about to disrespect the nineties and then say, oh, how did Jordan pass Kareem? I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying. I'm telling you, bro. You telling me this man? This nigga's never been good as Magic Johnson. Like, we got to do something to take away. No, no, we hate on, we hate on, we hate on black activists and Muslims. I get it. That's that's what that is. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Republicans, Republicans buy shoes too. Republicans buy shoes too. The seventies is literally filled with crackheads and a watered out league because a good portion of the time was playing in the ABA. Yeah. What's the eighties, low? Hey, what's the eighties, low? Start of a new era. HIV. Um, patience. Oh, like, it's crazy. Like, I'm I'm like, hey, low, like, wow. It's crazy. Low is wilding right now. Like, you got the whole problem. They don't know drugs and cocaine is in the 80s. The 70s is, is the worst. The seven, I think I, I genuinely believe the 70s is the worst. So basically, the NBA started in 1991. It's not right there with the 60s. No, see, this is is the thing. You're so obsessed with you making about Jordan. We've said the 90s is cooked too, but you can't accept that we're calling everything from (laughs) Jordan. Thank you. Thank you. you. It's all crazy. The 90s is cooked too. Thank you. The 90s is cooked. The 90s is cooked. The 80s is cooked. The 70s is cooked. The 60s is cooked. Going down the list. If it happened before I was born, the NBA. 
The NBA started. Was born, it was trash. The NBA, NBA started. Start? The NBA started and ended between 2003 and 2011. That's it, bro. That's it was the time zone, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yo, no. We no. When you have a show, when you have a show, I want to oh, jump on it, and I'm gonna defend this right there. The league started from the 80s till now. I don't care what you gotta say about that. Because the 80s, you had Magic, you had Bird. You had freaking Isaiah coming in. You had so much guys starting to make with the NBA team. Come on, Larry Bird. Put his head down, man. We don't care about that. Man, Magic Johnson literally carried every possession. Nah, that man, that man, Larry Bird was dribbling him with his head down. Magic Johnson was doing crossovers to his right. Nah, he was just trying to hit him, man. We don't care. We don't care. I'm playing the world. Also. Oh, also, I'm real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Do you, do you, uh, um, I didn't, I um Mars? How do you, how do you, how do you feel about um Luca offensively this season? Oh my God! Oh, he clears. Man, that nigga, God. Clear suit, clear suit. <laughs> Whatever name you want to come up with, he clears. Oh now, God! Don't now, do this now, 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 no, 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 no. Because I went back and I saw um Losers World. I mean Dubs World. Sitting here trying to have a I got you moment last season when I was trying to make these arguments about what Luca put could potentially do. And so now I want to figure out how he's gonna feel about um what he's doing and how if if I was if if you and Mars dub sat there and said, Oh, you just dubbing on the Mars bandwagon because you love Jokic now all the time. You were you were the Luca fan. So now I want to know if Luca's actually doing the things that y'all claimed that I thought he was going to do. He's actually doing it. How do y'all feel now? Because I literally, literally, this nigga Dub was on my nutsack. Also, Dub, you were wrong about Trey Young. Oh my god! You were wrong. You were wrong about Damian Lillard. You were wrong about Steph Curry. You were wrong about your team. You're wrong about everything, bro. Yeah, what do you say about? Why are we taking heat for Dub? Why are we taking heat for Dub right now? No, not too much. Not too much. Not too much on Steph. Also, also, also get. Not too much. Also, also get rid of. Get rid of. Get rid of. Get rid of. Get rid of conferences as well, bro. I'm tired of looking at. The second seed in the East barely would be fighting for a playing team. Yeah, you know, once bro, I'm tired of that shit. That actually is. So no, you, 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 you agree that the Lakers would be the number two seed in the East, right? Yes, the I. The Lakers and the Warriors that. would be top three. Nah, the Lakers, I mean, would, the Lakers would be the second seed in the East right now. Yeah, yeah, I, I said, I said that's that insane. Yeah, I'm, getting, I'm, getting, you know, getting, getting one uh, being, being able to get two more games against the fucking Detroit Pistons, Pistons, Washington Wizards, and Charlotte Hornets. Yeah, come on. Being next, it, that's so nasty. Yeah, I've been and pushing. I've been, I've been pushing and for you the get two more with the Nets pushing. too. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, are we? Are we, are we done Bulls. With the East? Oh, damn, we're done, we're done with the East. We done with the East. I've been saying if Houston was in the East, we are top six. Easy. If Houston, bro, if Mike Clippers are in the East, we got we got the Celtics record. Dead uh, ass, right, right now. Trash. Right, dead ass, right now. If the Lakers are in the East, same record, same remaining schedule. We will be fighting for home court advantage right now. Or we're we're fighting to get out of the plan. Like that's the difference right now. And oh, yeah. oh real quick, you get I want to say us an Eastern Conference schedule. Oh my bro. Oh, All I was gonna Lord. say was this: If you look at the '90s, I don't understand how you guys are saying it's done. It was more competitive in the East then than it's been in years. So for me, it made that's what made the yes. league more important. Because if you look at the league now, like how you guys are just trashing on the East, saying that these teams won't be able to. Fed for the West, you don't know that because it's a different system and a different place. The East so for me, the, no, you guys the, the really got to sit down, was, and I'm going to tell you, that's was, not going to work with the East. Was, that everybody that was, but yeah, any player East, from the East right East, now, block him on the West. 90s team. Have you, guys, have, right you guys, have you guys have you guys ever have you guys ever seen like um, I don't want to have you guys ever seen like the Paralympics or whatever like the Paralympics when they do like their sprints? Just because the races may be close doesn't mean they could beat Usain Bolt. Just because they're close when they compete, they're close. They're close when they compete against each other. Yeah, nice, nah, good for them. They go up against actual. They go up against people who are one hundred percent functional. They're gonna get cooked. Today's game is cooking the nineties. I don't care how competitive it was. They yeah. will compete against each other. You try to make them compete against people well, today. Also, they can cook. Can we can we bring so the nineties? The nineties different conferences weaker than now is what you're saying. Like you, you bring you. Yes, I think it's about oh, the same. Those teams, oh, no. like the, you oh. put any of those teams from the '90s East today. You put those Pacers teams, the Knicks teams, 
Do whatever you want to book. Also, Patrick Ewing would barely be calling me. I was, I was, I was just talking about this. This is what I'm talking about. I don't think Patrick Ewing makes the only NBA team. I think he only makes third teams. In the nineties, than it was in the two thousands or later. Those some of those teams from the nineties would be in dog fights with the Wizards. Exactly. And and they were making. That's not what I'm saying, Mars. Mars, Mars. This is what I'm saying. The nineties, in the nineties, the Eastern Conference was it better then than in the 2020? Oh, the 20, 2000 to it's now. It's better relatively. That's like relative wait, to what exactly. they were going against. Yes, wait, it was better. But you okay. put those teams from the 90s into today's East, they're chilling with the Wizards and the Hornets now. They're getting smacked. Because you could take whoever, you could take what, the worst six, player the off the strength. end of the Wizards bench and put them on the Wizards in the 90s and they're the number four seed. They're the go, two go, seed. Go ahead, put these you guys guys are reaching, man. Go ahead and because put you guys in a, a, a 11 threes a game with two guys mm -hmm. playing down low, no floor spacing, who can't create when teams actually are able to load up on the strong side. They're winning 10 games. <sighs> you know what? I don't agree <laughs> with that. They were good because for their time, though. Shout out to them. They were good for their time. Good. But nice. also, can we... Oh, I was going to say this. With the, the, the 90s, we also... Now go ahead. I was gonna say the reason as well of it seeming like it was also more competitive. A lot of these players couldn't even leave out to go to a team that they wanted to go to. Mm. And a lot of the players, the that are, the, a lot of the players that was in the East are in the West now, from 2018 till 2023. Mm. So like Paul mm. George went for <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? All these players are in the West now, and then you got other players getting better. So. Like, oh, Paulo Bancaro is fifth? Airport. Is fifth? Are you kidding me? I yes, like Paulo, but he's not ready yet to be in any sort of capacity competing for. You put Sabonis in the 90s, he might be the GOAT. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. All I'm doing is just comparing the 90s Eastern Conference to now. Eastern I know. Conference. You guys, you got to take it to. You gotta it's take really it to. Yeah, thought but of you're how saying this, it's good because the teams were good compared to a bunch of people with no left hands. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> like, that doesn't mean anything. Mm -mm. Anthony Gill could go in the 90s and average 26. Mm -hmm. Tell me what team oh Anthony Gill plays for. Let's not get us started on Kyle Kuzma when he went to the Gill? 90s. Yeah, Cowboy, what team does Anthony Gill play for? To be honest, I don't I don't Exactly. Know. He'll put up 26 in the 90s. Yes, if if <laughs> Jalen Green plays but we'll make, Okay, so let me explain. How, how is that possible? Because, of, like you just said, the floor spacing, the ability to shoot the three ball, that's what you're saying? He's going to be able to score 26? Because the 90s was trash. No, I'm asking because you mentioned a guy I don't know. So I want to know if his skill set would meet that of the 90s. And I don't think so because you forget 90s also had defense. That wasn't as like how no, it, it is didn't now. Have it, was it had people. It had people who couldn't guard who would foul people. And yeah, actually, actually, four, actually, four, four, actually, 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 four, actually, four, 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 actually, four offense. But I'm, but I'm talking about actually, 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 had four offense than opposed to great defense. Be honest with you. And even then, because of illegal defense. Jalen Green will still be able to get some shit off. Jalen Green was doing the shit he's doing now in the nineties. Y'all be calling that nigga the next Michael Jordan, bro. Have you seen Mars some of the plays he made? Now. <laughs> he's going yeah. now. Some of the layups he's made give, over the last two Jaylen months. Give Jalen Green a clear side. Let him beat his man with his first step and meet any big at the rim. I promise you, you guys, you guys, I if was, he came before Michael Jordan, you guys would call him Michael Jordan. His, 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 his layups in, Same in, thing that, with in that Timberwolves game was very impressive. Like, Same him, thing with Anthony Edwards. No, but Anthony Edwards is actually Michael Jordan. Like, so that's that's <laughs> I don't know why you say that. Like Jalen Green wouldn't be destroying these guys, but I mean, I guess. Okay. No, that, that better. Yeah. yeah, better. How many step back threes have you seen in the nineties? The whole decade. Probably. The whole decade, me. Yeah, how many? How many you well, if you're talking about Reggie Miller, you know, you got Reggie Miller. You had Ray Allen. Step back threes. Step back. Reggie Miller Reggie used to Miller. do a step back three off of his screen. He would pass and drop back and then get catching motion. That, that's not. No, that, no. You know no, what's no. You know yeah, what's yeah, talking about. That's relocation. 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 That's Oh, yeah, you look at that one. In the whole nineties, there might have been eleven step back threes. Jalen Green made eleven and two. I, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think he's four. not doing it. I say four step back threes. You even had Ray Allen doing that. that. Ten years. They, 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 they never Miller would. They would never would have seen did. someone as athletic as Jalen Green shooting step back threes. And they never seen it ever in their life. But then the way, but wait, hold on. The step back three though. They would have Jalen Green jumped. All right. <laughs> the crazy? The they moved the three point line closer. The niggas still couldn't shoot step backs. 
Mm. Oh, which, oh, there was no the difference between they the moved the three two. point line forwards and they were still taking deep twos. I was gonna, I agree with you, like I said, with that whole <laughs> <laughs> thing. Yeah, I, 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 I think said. Yo, Mars, they said, yo, we'll, we'll push it closer for you guys to take the three. Nah, 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 nah. I'm going to take a step nah, in the nah. still. We, we, oh, need, we, need, need, the, we need the foot on the line. That's what we need. Like, what are you talking about? Wait, I, I, I have a question. Crazy, so, like, you guys were talking about that dude, whoever came on the panel, was like Steph versus Kobe one-on-one. And you guys were acting like it's impossible for right Steph now. to beat Kobe. Yeah, like, it doesn't make really sense. Bro, cut the shit. Oh, you talking about White Dion? I don't care. Like you, oh, to, you guys were acting like it's impossible for Steph to beat Kobe. Steph can hit so many threes. It would be that's great. That's great. If they, if, they, if, they, if they played the one on one a hundred times, Steph can win a couple. Good for you. But we're talking about who's gonna win. We're talking about generally speaking, more often than not, Kobe would Kobe beat Steph. Just because you think a couple times, just because you think a couple times, Steph would beat Kobe. First, that doesn't mean oh yeah, I'm picking Steph. Like that's just that's just lanes. As much that's as, I, as much anyone as like can be breeze. anyone one time in one on one, anyone can be. I'm anyone. talking about one time, like just uh, anyone can be Steph anyone be... a couple times. That doesn't prove that you're the better one on one player. One on one, Kobe would beat Steph more than Steph would beat Kobe. Yep, if you look at the just physicality, Steph Kobe would post up Steph. Kobe would post up Steph most of the time and hit his mid range, even like, though no, no one's saying Steph would never win. If you think like exactly. anyone who says, Oh, this one on one would be 11 0, they're chatting. Anyone yep. who thinks that someone would win win a one on one a hundred times out of a hundred, they are chatting because yep. these NBA guys can get hot, they can make shots, they can get a couple stops. Like when you're in the NBA at that level, you're gonna have games where you just won't miss. That and there's no whistle. So no one's saying every like someone who just said 11 0, like he's just waffling. Kobe wouldn't 11 0 most people just because NBA guys can make a shot. That's just how good they are. And they practice but more it. often than not. You are going to win. Kobe is going to win against Steph more often than yeah, yeah. Nine two Kobe, nine two Kobe. Because you like, gotta understand, like, like right there, he just said nine two. That's a, I don't think that's possible. Like Curry is like Curry's the greatest shooter to say he will score two points or something like that. The reason why is, Kobe no, I'm talking about games of one on one. If they play one on one eleven times, Kobe will win nine two. That's what I'm saying. I don't know about that. I think more like him 9 2. He would also beat him 9 2. But what I'm trying to say is, bro, like, what are we talking about? There's no screens, my nigga. There's no screens. I haven't I haven't seen a lot of people stay in front of Curry one on one. That's just a lie. What? Can I can I tell you Curry's dribble handles? Are you guys serious right now? Yeah, I'm trying to so explain you how I see Kobe beating out Steph. Do so. Okay, the way Kobe here we go. Would here we go. Now we're not playing three dribbles again because we need Steph to somehow win. Uh, great. The reason why I was going to say this is one, Kobe is going to stay in front of him and he's, he's going to play physical. First off, Kobe is going to post up Steph a lot, attack the rim and try to wear him down. Okay, we're not. Steph we're not actually. We're not. We're not breaking this down. We know. 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 Please, I don't know why please, we're sitting please. here having this way. Like this is such a waste of a conversation, bro. Like we understand. Yeah, we okay, we know, we know, we know Kobe would win. Like we know we every everyone knows <laughs> like, Kobe would a, win. It's so obvious. Everyone bro, like, knows Kobe bro, would win, bro. but Steph fans get sensitive <laughs> bro, when you don't say Steph is Jesus Christ. So that's what it is. So, I'm not a Steph fan, bro. Yeah, like, you know I'm a Luka guy, bro. I'm a Steph fan, but I can't be a fan of Kobe would dominate, bro. No, I was just the way you guys were just talking about Curry. Oh yeah, this is the. Oh yeah, don't get the smoke low right now. Oh, oh yeah, time. boy. Let this guy go. <laughs> go, go, go. Right, so listen, I don't have too much time, but you said I was wrong about Miami. Like every single other person was wrong about Miami. You said I was wrong about Dame. Like every single other person was wrong about Dame. Nobody could have foretold, foretold any of that shit to happen, number one. Number two, you talk about Trey Young, and I'm wrong about Trey. When he hasn't even done that much shit. He had a hot month. And then bef the games before he was about, uh, 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 before he got injured, he was playing trash before those games. You feel me? So, like, I told y'all, like, Trey is probably on a run where he got hot and he's probably going to go back down to earth. And I said my thing with Trey was this is the year we really going to see if he's really like what he was in 2022 or he's more of what he usually is, which is a barely efficient guy. And that's exactly who Trey Young is. So I don't know how I'm wrong about him. And then how dare you? 
how dare you right? bring up the re the reason I brought up Luke, we brought up Luka Doncic and I'm saying I was on your nutsack is because I don't understand how you go through periods of stretches of digging up a person so heavy, but then when things aren't going their way, that completely disappears. I'm all, I've been a Luka fan for a minute, and I always gave him love. And even though he missed the playoffs or he'll go through a stretch, I'm still going to ride for him because he bought, he bought me. He, he, he bought me. I mean, no, I bought into his stock. I bought into his stock. <laughs> no, did he? <laughs> <laughs> he bought me. It's crazy. I, bro, I bought into his stock. So you feel me? I'm just sitting here like, I, that's why I was on you because I don't understand how with Luka Doncic and what he's going through right now. We've seen what Luka could be. But then whenever we was trying to have the Jokic and Luka conversations, you were sitting here like, oh, it's not even close. It's not even close. Like, he's just so much better offensively. I'm just like, this motherfucker was just sucking him up like last year. So I don't get that. You feel me? So I got two more minutes. I, I want to hear what you got to say. And we could probably finish this on a different show, like from the sideline. I'll be there today. But go ahead. Go ahead. You said, okay, you said that it's you only been two months. He's only been two months. Um, Trey has a 30 game sample size where he is shooting 45% from the field and 40% from behind the arc. And this is like consecutively, this is not, and obviously on volume, he's averaging 28 points, 30 game sample size. If he had, even, even if I were to include the, like the, I think the three or four game stretcher, he was like playing poorly before he got injured. Even if I were to include that, we're basically talking about a stretch where almost basically for half of a season, he was shooting completely fine. A, B, the reason why I'm saying you were wrong about Dame is because you're right. In the beginning of the season, nobody saw that. However, when the evidence was provided to you, and because you, you just do this thing where it's like, I don't care. I don't I don't care. I already know who he is. I'm a writer. He can change. I'm a writer. Pause. Yo. Pause. Diddy, <laughs> oh, my oh God, my God, man. God. I think he's saying that. And, fi and finally, I believe that it's possible to have two generationally great offensive players that are playing at the same time because that tends to happen throughout NBA history. Kobe and Nash, um, MJ, or MJ and play with Bird and Magic, but Bird and Magic, for example, um, Katie, uh, Katie, Steph, LeBron. Like, it's, it's possible that that happens. It's not like both could be true. I just think last season, last season, objectively speaking, is just one of the greatest offensive seasons in NBA history. And it's okay to acknowledge that even with Luka playing – great offensively last season Jokic was just better now that's cool that's cool that's cool so i i want to so the point you're talking about with dame and everything right? <laughs> Paul, the point you're talking about with dame my whole thing with that is like i said you're right yeah especially, you know, especially with this day and age <laughs> you already know but this day and age like what if hypothetically speaking he turns it around is it more of it was just a shooting, if it was just a slump and down year? Because he's been through a lot of changes this year, different role as well. He's going through some personal issues. Could this be more of a thing of, okay, this is just a really down year for Dame? Because if he goes next season to start hooping, what are we going to say then? You feel me? So that's why I think it needs to take some time before we really stamp, okay, this guy's washed. Like I told you, I think I told you this before. I said, in the next half a season, if he's still playing like this, oh, yeah. He's done. But I, I think we've seen we've seen a good amount of times people go through slumps. I mean, it's, it's sometimes it happens in life. You go have your ups, you go you have some downs. And, you know, when people are as good as that, you know, I think uh, it's it's important to at least give them a year and a half for them to really show us who they really are. Because if they turn it around, it's not that they magically got better. They just turned around what was really a slump for them. You feel me? But we can continue this on a different day. I got to go. But i baby. If you won't play back, I'll, I'll go uh, cook you there again. So. Thank you. Uh, also, 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 you can't extend this stretch for Trey into 41 games. 41 games, 27, 45, 39. Oh, you're talking about Trey. Trey, this season, there's a 41 a 41 game stretch, a half of a season where he'd play like that. Yeah, so they, it's it's, it's not it's not one month. It's not one month. It's there's, not there's, one there's, month. There's a good portion of the and you know this, low. There's a good portion of the year where if I could single it out, I'll give you the stats later. I'll do. I'll give you the stats from the sideline where Trey Young was fucking terrible. Like we could just do that for both. We could do that for both arguments. It really doesn't matter. But I'm just saying it's not one month though. That's all I'm saying. You can't say I'm wrong. I, th I, don't, I think neither one, neither yeah, one of us. Yeah, is you, right. you, could, you could probably highlight a 15 game sample size. There's a, there's a, there's a 21 game sample size though. 
But go ahead, go man. Go ahead, we'll go see. man. Well, I'll, I'll give you the stats. I'll cook you, and then I'll go and play back and cook yeah, you again. Yeah, fit, yeah, fit the game sample size. Correct. correct. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, hey, Lo. <laughs> um, I have super chats. Be a rider. Um, <laughs> nice. Coach of Sonda, how about the Suns? They were the only team last year to get two games in the Nuggets. Can the Suns beat the Nuggets? No. 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 They're close. They're, they're close. close. They got the best shot. Wait, look, why, can't the Suns, why can't the Suns beat the Nuggets? The real question is, will they make the playoffs? Lowe's the Actually, biggest KD hater I've ever seen. I've seen him tweet Actually, KD's field goal percentage. Yeah, man. He beat me, Rodman. He tries to pass it. He tries to tell oh, me. Wait, yeah, has it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, actually, he came. Listen, listen, he came listen, 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 he tells me, tell me. The reason why he hates on KD is because the fans who are pushing that he's still top five, even though literally I haven't seen any KD top five talks. Yeah, no, he's so mad so because so KD cracked him in the Twitter. Like, like, this point the, the, is personal. He's mad about KD. 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 He's saying he's top five. That, that's what it is. No, no, genuinely doesn't like KD. It's not because of that. It's because Lowe got into it with KD. And this KD. is what yeah. he said to me, by the way. This is not like it's, it's personal it. between Lowe. Lowe, yeah, yeah, it's personal. About it's, it's personal. It's not about yeah. the fans. He's like, you calling like, me out because you're that, professional. I've sat, Lowe, I've Lowe, do you think play, he's top ten at least? I've sat in playback multiple times. He does. He's he's gonna start trolling. Yo, okay, yo, Low, you yeah, that's, 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 that's a leap. Hey, right literally, literally, every time this, every time KD misses a shot, the person who doesn't think KD is top ten is real top. But again. Multiple times with this nigga, and he will miss a shot and he'll go, Well, Katie just didn't make his layups because that's what Katie said in the Twitter space. I'm not even sure. Like, I'm yeah, like, yes, he says awesome. that every awesome. single time, bro. Yo, yo, Lo, you can name 10 people better than Katie right now. Am I am I able to include like Joel and B? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. and like, everyone in the league. Yeah. If you're yeah. in the league right now, yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's very possible. It's very possible. It's very possible. It's gonna be the same. Um, it's gonna be the same. Can I put above Jason Tatum? Yes, yeah, it is. Um, Giannis, I disagree. Jokic, uh, Shay, MB, Luca. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to like keep Luca, you know, Luca, LeBron, AD, Curry, Jokic. He said, and um, uh, so Jokic. And Kawhi. Kawhi. Yeah, it's, 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 the, it's the same it's the same, same. Just, yeah. the same ten I put above above Jason Tatum. It's the same ten. Wait, look. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm, just I'm switch your name. You just put <laughs> Jason Tatum and KD. That's what I said. Wait, you, you, have, you, know, you have Jason Tatum not in the top ten too, right? I Argue. said you could. I said you could make a very strong argument. argument. He's not top ten. I but with the, no, with I'm, those I'm names. crazy. He's not in my top ten. He's not. You say you say those names. I don't think it's crazy to that we're Jason Tatum. What do you mean, damn, K? Niggas eyes. How is Tatum not top ten, bro? Because you hear all those names. Lo just said. You could argue that Uber and well, hold on. Wait, Lo, I have a question. So, because I don't think like, you were yeah, here earlier, but do you think that um there's any team in the West that could uh take advantage of like the Nuggets' weak um weakness and beat them in the playoffs? What is their weakness? Timberwolves. Yo, I'm yo, saying, yo, what, yo, 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 do you, if you think that they have one, do you think there's a team in the West that, <laughs> could, that could? No, they. I don't think there's a team that can take advantage of their weakness. So you don't know. No. You don't, you I, don't, think, I, think, I think they're repeating. I think they're repeating. I'm okay. telling you, if the if the Mavs make so the Western Conference so Finals, they face them. The Mavericks beat them. What's the narrative? Luca's the greatest. You, you you Luca, the Luca is top twenty all time. <laughs> Luca's better and than KD. Dead ass, actually. Oh, KD. Bro, come on, my nigga. Look, see? No, <laughs> oh, he is better this season. <laughs> Why? Why? Are you, he's KD is better this season? Luca. Yeah, he's better this season. What's, no, I'm talking about all time. All time. No, I'm, we're not talking about these. All right, Lowe, you hating. You hating. You hating, Lowe. I'm not going to lie. I was thinking about it. It's funny that Jokic's by far best season is the one year he didn't win MVP. Mm -hmm. I, was just thinking, I was just thinking about it. Like, yesterday, yeah. I was just thinking. He's going he's gonna to win three mm -hmm. or four years. I'm by far his best season. I, is the one um, I think Luca. Luca should actually win this year. Actually, Luca's Luca mine. Luca? Luca's mine too. I I, I can see that. And I, and I think Yo, Yo, Jokic should have won last year, but he's gonna win last this year. year. I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like last year was this game. Shout out, shout out, Joe. Because Embiid got the shout out, Joe. You can go check the 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 MVP because they do like a straw poll like every now and then for MVP. They did one right before the actual voting. I'm pretty sure it was 78 to 14 in favor of Jokic. It was a landslide. Yeah. Right? The last 45 days. Kendrick Perkins sees that, goes on national TV and goes, yeah, y'all niggas is just racist. And the, literally the polls 180 in, 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 in MB's favor. I'm not even sure. I, I remember when, I remember when, you, I remember when Jokic like, just stopped playing basketball. Shout out to Kendrick Perkins, you mean? So when when that happened, no, the, I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mind Embiid winning it because Jokic just stopped trying for like. 
the last month. I was like, okay, well. Mm-hmm. He did, though. But they were losing to the Spurs. Like, like, over, like, but over, over the course of the whole season, yeah, Jokic was just the MVP. And it's by far his best season, like. Significantly, by far. Than, low, significantly low bad in 21 and 22. The fifth, the fifth most win. efficient scoring season of all time was play, passing and playmaking better than anybody not named Nash or, Ma- or Magic Johnson. Like, it was yeah. undeniably, like, the best season in his career. And Can I, the one year he doesn't have the MVP. It's yeah. amazing. Low, 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 low and it's like, it's like how Steve Nash's best year was 07, and it's the one he doesn't have the MVP in. It's funny, too. Mm-hmm. Low and Moss, I got a quick question for you guys. If I know this is a reach, I'm not trying to say he's MVP or anything. I'm oh, Jalen Brunson, here we go. Oh my no, God, no, no, I'm not going to say that. Bro. I want to know. I want to know where you guys rank him. I'm not saying that he's top 20. I'm thinking that he's putting up a good argument. I still don't think I he's think better he's, than Tatum. I think, I think he's top 15. Okay, no, I, he's I, top I, top top I, think, I think he's better than Jason Tatum. I think I think I think bro, I, I think Brunson Brunson's gonna make an All NBA team. Wait 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 wait. Yeah, he's gonna make. He's gonna be second. He's gonna be second. Wait, 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 Tatum. Neither okay. of them have a case. Who, who has a case? Neither of them have a case. That's what I was going to say. Neither of them have a case. case. Yes, but the reason is stronger case between the two. No, Tatum no, is just better. Is, What's but the number two? What, wait, what number is bigger? Zero or zero point zero? Negative. Okay, I see. What, I okay, zero point zero, Mars. I don't know. Zero zero has the extra. Has no, the extra. No, um, no one is saying that they're not. One's actually an MVP. Actually, I gotta. I gotta go. I gotta go. So Merry Christmas, man. But you, yeah, none of none of them have, none of them have <laughs> any case. If, if the case is zero, there's no such thing as a stronger case. Neither of them have a case. The case is zero. We we, we know both of them was case. Jason Jalen Brunson has played case. better than Jason Tatum. That's the answer I can give you. Neither of them have an MVP. But wait, has he? Oh. Yes. Why? Why? He has. Say why. And he why played better than Steph too because he because I, he I scored this, better. Like, he played better. He looked better. He got more aura. He looked better. That's crazy. He he looked what? Yeah. Look better. That's yeah, that's why. Because I, I, that's that's insane. That's, that's, that's what about defense? It's crazy I'm to have Tatum is one of the best. Tatum's one of the best wing They give him the defensive there, player of the year. I don't care. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> oh my god. I don't care. Okay, next super chat. Super chat. Drink Bro, more water. Mars, yeah. Yesterday, Jack made an interesting point about Jokic getting the LeBron treatment that Bron never got. He didn't fully elaborate, but what do you think he meant? And do you agree with that statement? What he meant was that when there's no clear cut MVP, just give it to the best player in the world, and that's Jokic in their eyes. So that's what he meant by the LeBron treatment. Oh, uh, okay. So he's basically saying that Jokic is getting benefited of doubt MVPs. Do I agree? That's, cr- yeah, that's I think, crazy. I think this year, I think Luca is the MVP this year. Me too. Um, yeah. But I <laughs> see why you. I see why Jokic is winning it. I mean, the net swing is obviously crazy. Yeah, so it's a benefit of crazy. No, we, we the don't know. It's crazy. But can't go I, I think it's Luca. Think, think about it. You can't go wrong if you give it to Jokic. So if it is benefit of the you can't. Yeah, it's like, it's like yeah, Jokic has Jokic has got the seeding and the numbers and the and you watch him play. It's like yeah, this MVP. So if we give it to him, it's cool. No, that, that, that's that's how it is. Wait, wait, yeah. did you guys talk about before? Like what Jokic did to Go Bear last night? What did he do? Dominated him. Why couldn't he make free throws? <laughs> Pulls. <laughs> oh, bro, you guys are. You're why, like, why, you're why, why, could, why couldn't why couldn't um why couldn't your kids make free throws? You know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because he, because he, wanted, he wanted to he wanted to make the points that he put on Gobert less to give him a better chance at DPOY. But Denver, Denver is just one of the worst free throw shooting teams in the league in general, and Jokic can't make free throws, so that's why they won't lose in the playoffs. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy how they regress with free throws. They just they just bad at making free throws, man. That's just that's because true. they play Eric like, Gordon and now they play. The so that's because they play Eric Gordon and now they're playing Peyton year. Watson more probably. What's Peyton Watson's free throw percentage? Probably bad. Uh, Peyton, Peyton Watson is sixty seven percent. Yeah, that's higher, what. Which is higher than what Jokic was last night. What does that mean? <laughs> Jokic is the problem. That's the, that's what I mean. Jokic is the problem. Um, but next chat. Drink more water. Yanis, Jokic, and Embiid, or KG, Tim Duncan, and Dirk. Yeah, KG, Tim Duncan, and Dirk. Are we serious? Let's, 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 let's rank. Let's rank these players one through six. Who's oh. number one? Tim Duncan. Okay. Tim Duncan. Who's number two? KG. KG. Yeah. Who's number three? Damn, bro. Jokic. 
We're trolling. Giannis. We're trolling. Jokic. Yeah, Giannis. <laughs> the the man that can touch the ball the fourth. Who's number uh, Giannis, Giannis. Um, Giannis no, Dirk, 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 Dirk. Joker. Dirk's better. Joker. Giannis Joker's better than Dirk. Oh, no, Joker's better than Dirk. Oh, no, Dirk. Dirk is better than Giannis. He is. Dirk is definitely not better than Giannis. I'm Dirk is tell better you, than Giannis. Yes, he is. That's not, 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 not true. Are you, are you, are you, are you racist? <laughs> no. I, I was, I was so you could score in the fourth quarter, man. That's what I was. I th- I think well, oh yeah, that's that's, that's that's yeah, that's that's what you know when games are tied, game six is about fifty. But yeah, that's what you know people just say. I, 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 I think I think you might be racist. It means it means Giannis oh, already. Racist. Has... You said you're a Luca fan. Now you're saying Dirk's better than Giannis. You're saying Jokic's better than Giannis. Just seeing a correlation. <laughs> that's crazy. You're caught, buddy. Just seeing a correlation. Nah, just... Michael, where well, Michael Jordan is my goat. So how how? He's bald. Mm, don't try to save yourself now, brother. He's bald. So <laughs> he's bald like skinheads. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's, he's, he's bald. Because so yeah. you know, you know, like um, KKK and the bald. Um. Anyway, number one, you guys got this. One. KG is number one. Number two, Jokic. Number three, Giannis. Number four, Embiid. Number five. Tim Duncan, number six. Duncan, oh, there you go. Now that's the order. You, that's you so disrespectful. Disrespectful to Dirk. Wait, what was that? How, how is Dirk about? not last? Because he's better than Yannis. Dirk is last. I ain't gonna lie. You, you, you without being Dirk. racist, tell me how Dirk is better than Yannis. <laughs> Least completely. He's a better scorer. Better scorer, okay. But what else? That overshadows everything. We're done cool, now. Yeah. We're done now, right? That's it. We run out yeah, of that overshadows everything. <laughs> <laughs> we run out of things. What's the list? Score. Wait, Dirk and who? Okay. What else? He, he that's it. He he just goes score. Yeah, transcendent score, yeah. So why is Dirk not better than all of them? Because he's the best scorer on this list. Maybe. Back. Him, him or MB. Him or MB. Because Jokic is better. Yeah, on Embiid. Embiid. Embiid's better score. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't yeah, but player too. translation, you know. You know yeah, 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 yeah. You know. Oh, so, well, yeah. Also, I can't even rank MB. You got to play the playoffs too. That's well, why. That's why Embiid so, last. That's why Embiid last. Well, this year, you know, no excuses. He's healthy now, allegedly. You said Embiid is last. Yeah, he's not a hundred percent. Yes. Oh, now yeah, he's, he's not hundred. Okay. He's oh, tell me, not tell me the years of Embiid's playoffs. You see starting? You see what's starting? He's what definitely not healthy. Like we literally, like they literally had multiple right, segments right, saying right, right. what he, they don't want him to come back because he's not going to be one hundred percent healthy. Bro, that's I what like, said, people, are ranking, people are ranking. People are ranking and beat the hypothetical playoffs. They, y'all oh. told me and was healthy, bro. No, no, that's we're ranking on based on what he's shown. And B is still going to hoop. In the playoffs, he's, he's, yeah. he's clearly not better than Dirk. What are we talking about? No, no, any no players, no player, yeah, no player who's injured is going to be at itself. So yeah, you're right. Yeah, so we're ranking in the hypothetical playoffs. I'm, I'm taking 2011 Derek over. No, we're, we're ranking him what he's shown. No, no, ranking him what he's shown. Better and beat pass, better and beat rebound, better and beat play defense. And way better defender. Right. I don't know. And this is what, what he's shown. I don't know what you want. That's not hypothetical. Hey. Nah, Derek, Derek, Derek's just more valuable, bro. Derek's more valuable, why? Racism? How? No, that's what he does for his team. You see 2011, man? You know, that's that's more than than and that's more affordable than a B. What's more? Oh, liability on defense in the front court? More nah, nah, than nah, 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 nah. No, no, no. Nah, let's move on to the next super. Let's move on to the next super chat, bro. A liability in a liability. This Dirk hate is crazy. In the front court is more portable than Joel Embiid. This Dirk case is crazy. Nah, bro. But let's not, let's not, move on. Let's move on. You put him in a category with Tim Duncan, KG, and BDO Kitchenianis. You know better than them. Nah, Tim Duncan's clears Dirk. I agree. You, you do, you do. Dirk. Clears Dirk. Dirk. You do Dirk versus Charles Barkley. I'll give you that. Dirk is clearly better than him. what? Yeah, so put him in people he's better than. Then I w- then no one would be cool. No one would be hating. You put him in a group. Bro, of people I am not. Better. I am not ranking Embiid on hypothetical playoffs, bro. Embiid is in the so playoffs. Is the only thing that playoffs. To you, bro. It's not. It's not hypothetical. The Embiid I've seen in the playoffs is still more impactful than Dirk. That's a lie. So? You think so? That's a lie. Have you seen his defense? I'm not. Let's just I'm move not, on. I can't do that, Morris. I can't do that, bro. Please, bro. I can't. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to because you see, much, you see his points go down, and all of a sudden he doesn't do anything, even though his defense levels no, up to a level. No, offensively, objectively. Nah, no, I see his turnovers fast, too. Just looks worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see his turnovers. You know why? Because he actually is willing to pass the ball. That's why he turns the ball over. Ah. 
You know why Doug Nowitzki uh, What, what about the spacing that Doug Nowitzki is for his team? Nasty, you're he's trying to, boss. You're trying to call for him. Yeah, but he played basically hey, different ways here, by, by spacing drop and, he's and drawing oh, twos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over. Space the floor, Hard. Right? This is his last chance. If he's healthy, no, Dirk's just way failed. better. Clearly. There's no more excuses. It's over for him, bro. Okay. Next Who's next saying show? he's healthy? I don't know. Yeah, less of that. Less of that. On this show, he was two there last week. Y'all said he was healthy. I'm like, we have the tape. Y'all don't got to lie and say. Liban Ahmed said this era is filled with thugs, corn addicts, and podcasters. Okay. Um, and then he's talking about regarding the, one, the, regarding the one through sixteen playoffs. Wouldn't the travel in the playoffs be crazy? Yeah, we yeah, make the first round. Make the first round best of five in that holiday. We we are in twenty twenty four, not nineteen eleven. We can they can get across the country. I don't know. I don't Pretty easily, they, they can get across the country. It's not. It's not gonna kill them. James gonna be more spaced out, but. Uh, drink more water said for the East versus West. We omit we omitted the um the fact that the East dealt with a lot of injuries. The Knicks with Randall, um, Mitchell, OG, um, Philadelphia with Embiid, Cleveland with Mitchell, Garland, and Mobley, Indiana with Halley, all have played less than 56 games. That's good. That is a fact. That is yeah, that, fact. that's great. That's great. That's One fine. through 16, we'd be in the playoffs right now. Um, <laughs> I'm out of super chats and I have nothing to say for the last 17 minutes, so I can give you two options. We end the show, or you guys find something to talk about? Yeah. KD oh, yeah, yeah. We can't end early. early. Yeah, I can do Yeah. Can or do Smash it. Damn. <laughs> That's what we doing? I mean, <laughs> if we have nothing to talk about, why am I going to just stay here for 17? Someone, someone say something. Uh, I thought I thought we going to reverse Dork. I thought I thought we were going to get back to that. Like, I don't see how. I don't know what we're talking about. Get back to what? Yeah, it's a world clean dirt. I don't see how dirt is not last. He wants to just hate on dirt more. Let's it's not hate on dirt. Like, uh, like a the, career wise, I think I'm higher on dirt than most dirty. people. I said, if this piece said dirt was a top five scorer of all time, I don't know who, who are the you players uh, y'all talking about because I can't really? relate. I, I, that. I, I did I say that a long time ago. It probably changed my mind. Uh, I'm like, that doesn't sound like something recently. Oh, no, it's not recent at all. I told you I don't make lists anymore, but I know I've said it before. I know I've said dirt is top five scorer of all time before. Do I still believe it? Probably not, but I've said it before. So you can't tell me no. Damn, top five score? Yeah. Hell no, it's crazy. Top what? Five. Top yeah. Name top five. UAT, 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 score, UAT, top five UAT, score, bro. UAT, name UAT, seven. Top name five. He's not a top five score. I'll give him name seven. UAT, 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 this Dirk hate is so crazy, bro. Come on. Like Wait, where do you where do you guys rank Dirk then? He's like top twenty five, or like. Oh, all time. I haven't talked. Yeah. Um, I'm, wait, am I am I ranking am I ranking the plumbers or no? No plumbers. I have a top oh, no no no, plum, no plumbers. I got Dirk at thirteen. Damn. What? That's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no but I'm a hater, all right? Yeah. 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 22, something like that. You a hater. 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 Nine you spots. Hater. You a hater. Nine spots. You a hater. 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 Holy, nah, nah, nah. I'm a, I'm a hater, bro. I'm a hater, though. Holy, Dirk got to stop. Yeah, I'm a hater. Dirk ain't got to stop. Yeah, I'm a hater. I'm a hater. What did I ring out? Dirk, man. That's unacceptable. I don't know why he just be hating on Dirk. You must not know how good Dirk was. It's crazy. He beat the super team. He didn't see 2011. He didn't see 2011. You just ain't think that. 20 where? 20? Lost your mind. Bro, he unlocked top 25. You unlocked top 25. Give me the 20 people over Dirk Nowitzki all time. Don't you dare say that, bro. Oh, my God. This man going to say Scottie Pippen. I may say... No, no, I don't think so. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. What's it? Don't say like the top 10. Go like 11. When I say it's like... It's play. like the right, it's like regular top 10, like Jordan, um, LeBron. Wait, am I ranking the old guys or no? Rank you told me, you, told me you is your ranking. Oh, wait, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Okay, so like Le MJ, LeBron, um, Tim Duncan, it up, brother. Kobe. <laughs> I don't have the list right in front of me, so. Uh, you hey, you struggling at four? You can, like, skip the top you struggling at four? Nah, he got to finish it. He knows the top, like, 10 or 12. No, no, no. He, no, we don't know his top 10. No, no, we don't know. We don't know his top 10. He called me a dark hater, and he got dark at 206. So, like. 
bro, like, it, like you, come on, man, do that four. Let's go. Who's number five? So, wait, I mean, Kobe, Hakeem, Larry Bird, okay. Magic, um, Kareem. Um, what what do I have right now? Like eight, nine. Okay. No, Shaq before Kareem. Shaq before Kareem. So I don't Shaq. care about the order. I'm just order doesn't matter. matter. Kareem. Yeah, the order don't matter, bro. Just get to the name. Okay. Um. Oh, what's the fault? Oh my God, I'm cooked. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Here's my want to say Dirk in the twenties. You don't even know who's in the eleven through twenty. He don't even know. He's just trying to hate. He don't even have a list. He's it's it's just, it's just what I it's just what I what I think of Dirk. I just don't think he's. That good. It's just that high. Oh, that. you don't think that's that no, good? No, no, that, oh, that high, that high, that high, that high, that high, that high. Okay, I said that high. I said that. High. I knew it, man. I knew yeah. it. I knew it. Dirk and Miles twenty. That's all I need to know. Oh, Dirk, coach, I go Dirk thirteen. You're talking, buddy. It. How do you have a thirteen? Twenty eleven. Are you dumb? Twenty eleven. <laughs> oh well, yeah, yeah. What am I talking about? Then Curry. There's Curry. There's KD. There's Kevin Garnett. That's like eleven. There's Julius Irving. Huh? I'm out. What do you mean? Why are you doing I'm out. Tell me about tell me tell me about Dr. J's game and lie to me. For the people who don't know. Um, transition. Good defender. Sure. Um but Giannis not bad. Get to, Dirk, get to right? the rim. But Giannis not bad in Dutch. <laughs> but Giannis not bad in Dutch. <laughs> what about transition good on defense? No, no, but it's relative to error though, so. Who more Giannis. better than Giannis in transition, dog? But Giannis not better. Nah, you talking about like career though, right? Ain't you ranking like career all? Yeah, no, he just said career, career. He just said he's okay. Who more better than Giannis in transition in NBA history, dog? LeBron. Okay, one person. And okay. and who else? Um, nobody. Mm. Oh, exactly. Do you think? Do you think? Yeah, Dr. J. Okay, Doctor J. By the way, and then there's David Robinson with that. I think that's like 15 the around number? there. Okay, Jokic. I did say Jokic is better than him. Mm, mm. So We're Jokic, better um, than like all time. Okay, hey, 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 hey. I guess actually remove Jokic right now. Dwayne Wade, I think is better than Dirk too. Mm. Chris yeah. Paul, I think is better than Dirk too. All right, bro. What is that like 18? Chris Paul. Chris Paul. I'm a hater. You don't think Chris Paul is better than Dirk? I'm a hater. But I'm a hero. Right. Wait, you know, are you you're not gonna say why Chris Paul no, is better. You're gonna Dirk's say defense, like Paul, passing, all the other. Extra wow, stuff. the reason, the reason why Giannis is better. Okay. Chris Paul don't got a 2011, bro. Okay, so Dirk's like 19 for me, I guess, around there. Mm. Right, not 22. 20. Okay, cool. We don't. So he's top 20. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Steve Nash. Cool, Steve Nash is ahead of Dirk. Oh my God. Steve Nash. So he's 20. He's 20. Don't he's 20. I don't care about winning at all. Steve bro. Nash. No, I love Steve Nash, man. Like, the more I, oh, the more Nash, I watch Steve, Steve Nash. Nash was on oh Dallas, who was is the best player, player on the team? Or like career, bro? Like, when Steve Nash bro, was on Dallas. He hasn't Dallas, blossomed yet. When oh Steve my Nash God. was on Dallas, who was the best player on the team? He hasn't blossomed yet, and he wasn't like on the ball as much as he was in. What's it called? Yeah, but well, like, you know, Not Doug they were running it through Jan. Yeah, they were running it through Dirk more than Steve Nash because Dirk was better. But that was a hey. I'm just saying, the year Steve Nash left the Suns, the Mavs they were running it through Dirk. Or? I'm just saying, the year Steve, Steve Nash, Nash left the Suns, ball more than Dirk did. They're still the best offense in the league. But Steve, but you know what? Steve Nash knew his job was to give the ball to Dirk. You know why? Best player on the team. Yeah, he was. I said that. Yeah, in yeah, 2004. So, so, so when Steve Nash entered the league. All the way until he left Dallas, that's already eight years of Steve Nash's career, was never better than Dirk. So how did he surpass Dirk all time? If there's he already like, eight years where he was just never better than Dirk. Well, considering Dirk came in in, what, 99? So already, that's five five or six years where he was just never better than Dirk. How did he just surpass Dirk? I think, like, the 2004, 2005, all the way to, like, 2009, 2010, those seasons were just, like... So five years. It's, <laughs> yeah, but like we have like all time seasons in there though. 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19. Who's the better player between Steve Nash and Dirk Nowitzki? All those years. No, you can say Dirk has better than Dirk. So, so Dirk Nowitzki has 14 years where he was better than Nash. Nash has five years where he could have been better than Dirk. And Nash is better. 
And I think in those seasons, he was no, just... I hate that. I, I think he's just <laughs> much better we, than We've Dirk. lost all this care about winning, bro. We don't care about winning. But I hate Dirk, right? I hate like, if the players are close, bro, I'm taking a winner. Bro. Nah, he's... He, Dirk 20, <laughs> Dirk 20. I'll give him that respect. Yeah, the, now you're calling him respect. Common sense is respect now. Okay, I mm. hmm, Interesting. But it's funny, you, you said we hate Dirk, but... Yeah, yeah that, was that, was that was crazy. That was crazy. That was crazy. That's why people just... No, 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 no. don't even know anything. No, what actually happened is, I just... My hate for Giannis is just yes, that's what it is. Call it how it, you hate Giannis. Don't accuse you, us. Of you hate the people. winners. You hate the guys. The only one hating right now. You're losing. the only person hating. You're the only person really? hating. No one. Yeah, I'll take that. No I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay, there we go. We got to the bottom of that. Russ hey. versus Dirk. Russ who? Bill Russell. Russ what? Bill Russell has to be Bill Russell. Has to be. We ain't talking about. Yeah, there can't be another Russ. There's no way. It can't be another Russ. Can't be. Impossible. No. Has to be the other Russ. The end. No, I'm playing. Wait, 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 Morris. So, do you think? Why are you trolling? Do you think Dirk is better than Steve Nash? I think all time. Higher, I think Dirk ranks higher all time. Okay, yeah, it's all time. It's definitely Dirk. That's a longevity. Okay. Like, I hell? think Nash peak time. Yeah, you can say peak yes time, for sure. Yeah, like, that's what I'm all, career all time. Dirk. All time. I got Dirk at thirteen. That's, yeah, that's that's Dirk, bro. Like y'all forgot Without the old like, guys. How many old guys is there? But. Oh yeah, like well, Jerry Kareem, West. Kareem's not ranked. Russell's not ranked. Wilt's not ranked. West is not ranked. Oscar Robertson's not ranked. Elgin Baylor's not ranked. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe John Havlicek, if you need, like Doctor J's. That's not a lot of... Shout out to John Havlicek. <clears throat> Doctor J's not ranked either. So all of those guys, yeah, Dirk would move down if I ranked him. But I don't rank him. So yeah, yeah I can. I can watch. I can watch sixties hoops, bro. Yeah, I got. Dirk I don't know how people. Only people above him, David Robinson, KD, KG, Steph, Magic, Bird, Kobe, Duncan, Hakeem, Shaq, MJ, and LeBron. They're the only people I go above him. Everyone else, nah. See, that's that's ball knowledge. Wait, is D-Wade because of longevity, too? Yes. Okay. D-Wade... I guess I just, I, I just value peak more than longevity. Oh, yeah. Peak-wise, I got Duck quite a bit, though. But... You ain't also yeah, so you see, you're, you're 80 under, not me. I got Dirk at 22 peak wise. You see? And then exactly. really, it really is 21 because one of them is number 32, so really. Uh, we ain't talking about him. Oh, yeah, I didn't mention him too, So, but I'm not ranking him, him, so. Even without the yeah. off, no, no, you're not, you're not better, bro. You're not better. But yeah, peak, peak wise, like, I think Anthony Davis is better than Dirk. Yeah, I, I can I can see that. So, Anthony Davis is Yeah, that bubble year was crazy. AD was just yeah, bad. it was. It's different. Anthony Davis is so insane. Yeah, I he, wonder he just... what clips they're gonna make from this episode because I've said some outlandish things in this show. A lot of people said a lot. Bro, yeah, you were just the you were just trolling the entire funny. episode. Yeah, this I'm not gonna lie. Some of these clips, I'm gonna I'm gonna be going back to being hated on TikTok. These right. are gonna be funny. I'm not gonna Dark lie. Dirk over KG, Durant, and Wade. That's crazy. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Dirk over KT is. You, I'm not gonna lie. If you're in the year 2024 hey, and you think Dirk Nowitzki was better at Boston than Kevin Garnett, we're just trolling. I don't mind it, bro. I don't. I don't it's, mind it. It's it's like, so. It's not about players. The only the, the only way you team. can have Dirk but other KG is off of narratives like, oh, no, he won no, without no, a you super could team. You could argue that Dirk had a more impressive career than KG did. You could argue that. Because 2011, hey, that matters to a lot more of people. More impressive doesn't mean you're team. better. I don't care. Ooh, I, I can be nah, more. I'm saying that's what people. I'm think. more, impre I'm more, more impressed. When, I'm more impressed when Spud Webb dunks. He's not a better dunker than Vince Carter. That's not a career. <laughs> that's just a moment. I'm not talking. About, I'm talking about Spud Webb dunking the basketball many times. Also, <laughs> I want. I want to watch like the 2007. He's more impressive than when Vince Carter dunked. I still think Vince nah, Carter. Nah, Ma, you're dragging it, bro. You're dragging it. Like I, I want to watch the 2006, 2007 Mavs. How did they win 67 games? Oh, because like, that, that is a, very good. Yeah, and they had fifth in defense, and then lost in the first. I need to know exactly what they happened. They lost in like. the first round because Dirk Nowitzki didn't have a post game. Nah, because the coach, oh the coach knew his, the, all his moves and all that. That's what the, yeah. After yeah. coming up a season of going to the finals, he came back in the next season. Hey, but guess what? Coach. 2011 wipes the slate, bro. We don't even talk about all seven, bro. 2011 happened. Yeah, that's what I say. Dirk beat the playoff choke relegations because of one player front. That's amazing. Shout out to him. And nah, but that one playoff run. That's what's gonna happen to Embiid this year. He gonna he gonna go on a run this year. Everyone's gonna forget about all the other yeah, yeah, but yeah, but what but what he did in that one playoff run though. Holy I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who the first guy to win legitimately to though. How far do you think Embiid go? The Sixers are going to the finals. If they get to the finals, they win it. I'm be honest. I don't know what to tell you. 
You guys don't know how good Joel Embiid is. Like, I, I know think, how good he is. I'm, 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 I don't think you guys know. I genuinely don't think you guys know how good Joel Embiid is. He's a top four player, top three. Top three, bro. I look at him. Sweep my nets. He's top three for sure. Kill. Every single time, bro. No, I've like, watched I, I, I don't, a lot. Like, I feel, like what do you like, want me to do? Have another point in the way. The only reason no, like, the is no, you guys get strong. shocked when I say the six are going to the finals is because you don't know how good Joel Embiid is. That I team when Joel Embiid was nah, playing, I'm not, was I'm not trusting, the best team in the league. I'm not trusting Tobias Harris and Tyrese Bassey in the playoffs. Tobias Harris. They have Nick Nurse. They have Joel Embiid. So Embiid can do it by himself. So Embiid can do it by himself. Yes. Tobias Harris being his third best player is perfect, though. Joel Embiid is the best player to ever play in the NBA. Ah, okay, okay. okay. All right, all right. Oh, like, he's just Joel Embiid is better than every well, single player. To get another clip. The only all argument right, against clip. Joel Embiid is his health. Joel Embiid healthy is better than whoever you want to come up with. Nah, Jokic. Nah. Kobe, wait, wait, so, Jokic, so, Michael Jordan. How is he better than Steph Jokic? Curry, LeBron James, he's, he's better than them. He's better than them. Only yeah, argument against Joel Embiid is health. He's trying to get all the trolls out, bro. It's the only argument. The only argument is health. I don't know what to tell you. But it's cool. Mm-hmm. You guys, you so guys. How would play making and passing like not like get worse in the playoffs, even with him healthy? How would that not get worse? Um, Wait, so because... then does that make Kawhi Leonard better than him? Because he be he, he that's the last time he got beat healthy. And beat wasn't healthy in 2019. Knee tendonitis. Knee tendonitis. Okay. Why is the baby crying? This man Dirk in that playoff run was 28 points per game on plus eight. True, true. That's what I'm saying, bro. You're talking about that man. Out of here, bro. KG Dirk, Dirk. KG he was 28 and plus eight true wishes, today. He wishes okay. he could do that, bro. KG, Dirk, KG, Dirk, Dirk's Dirk a better scorer than KG. No one said that. No, I'm not saying, I'm not saying no, I'm KG's about better. I, I don't say. think you put KG on that team, you can do what Dirk did. Like, just because he, like, he's, he's not as good right? offensively. Yeah, good guy. Yeah, yeah, because they have Tyson Chandler next year. Yeah, but yeah, but that would be disgusting. KG on the Mavericks wins in 03. KG on the Mavericks wins in 06. KG on the Mavericks wins in 05. He has three rings already. But not 2011. 07. What about 07? 2011. He can have all those he, he, he uh, 07, Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix got it. I ain't going to lie. Phoenix got it. Hmm. But I, we've managed to waste 16 minutes so I can end the show on time. Thank you guys for watching. Hey, um, I appreciate it. None of you guys hold any of the takes I've made on this show against me when they don't pan out. If you know me, you know none of it was serious. So I don't want to hear you guys tell me, oh, you were wrong. Clearly, I'm trolling. So, no, yeah. I don't. Know. <laughs> yeah, we know. For classic yeah. low. So, so, so no one. No, I'm not trying to hear two months from now. Oh, I thought Embiid was the best player ever. Like, shut. Up. I'm like, shut. Up. So, um, thank yeah, you guys yeah. for watching. Um, Imagine someone taking that yeah, serious. Watch Noah yeah. Clowney. He had seven blocks. So you don't think in, in the six are making the finals for real? Shows everybody.